From the Gettysburg Museum of History Studios, high atop Baltimore Street, in a maximum security facility complete with central air, it's AG Today. Hi, this is Darren. And Mayor from the Civil War Breakfast Club podcast. This is Dan Casella from the No Pollution of Cowardice podcast. This is Wayne Motts from the Gettysburg Foundation. Hi, I'm John Rothman. Hi, this is Bo Brinkman. Hi, this is Joseph Fuquay. And you're listening to Addressing Gettysburg. <laughs> you're, listening to, you're listening to Addressing Gettysburg with Matt Cowery. Uh, don't ever go in America, got talent. You won't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say I think it? Bullshit. <laughs> the top of the list. Oh, yeah. You're listening to Addressing Gettysburg <laughs> today. I love this podcast. <laughs> you a bunch of questions and I want to have them answered immediately. You guys suck! You're not funny! Son of a bitch. Dan, 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 but a feel, but a feel, but a feel. Okay, hello, hello, good morning everybody and welcome to the uh, wonderful, wonderful world of addressing Gettysburg today. I am your host, Matt. And uh, with me, of course, is the incomparable Bethany Yingling. Hello, Bethany, and your incomparability. How are you? Hello. Uh, <laughs> what's new? Nothing. I'm Every- in a good mood. Are you in a good mood? That's I'm in great. A great, mood. great. I haven't been one of those in a long time. What are the? I, refresh my memory. What is it like? It's it's uh, like you feel like you're li- uh, in the air, like dancing on a cloud. Sure. Sure, and then you do the drum fill. It's boom, like boom, when boom, 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 Colby boom. walks into a room. It is very similar to when Colby walks into a room. Let me oh, open Colby's did. mic in the back there. Hello, Colby. How are you? You did have it on. We were back here talking crap, man. <laughs> I, no, I didn't have the mic on, no. No, but you had the intercom on, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, there we but go. it wasn't in the... I didn't have the channel open, just oh, the speaker in the room. As long as you could hear it, that's all that matters. I, I couldn't. What did you say? You said it You said it yourself. It's like me walking into a room. It's because oh, I said she it. she heard it. I didn't hear it. That's uh, my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fist bump. So, so uh, yeah, and we are uh, just having a wonderful time. We are, aren't we? I don't know. I I feel like a, a music coming on. Like you feel a song coming yeah. on. Yeah, like really. Are we getting ready to karaoke? I hope so. Oh, Jesus, don't don't. <laughs> With the sound of music. Can it be music that's actually good, Beth? Can it be music that's actually With good? songs they have sung. For a long time. How many years is it? A thousand years. (laughs) (laughs) It really meshes well with that backing track. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah, really. Thank you. I knew it was a long time. I couldn't think of how long it was. I'm like, 100,000 million? I don't know. Some type... Some time of years. A long time ago. A long time. Many, many, many years. 1,000 seems to be the go-to number, though, for that kind of stuff. Yes. Yeah, what is that about? I don't know. Why is the music? thousand the, the the big number? It's fairly big, you know. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went well. <laughs> so, all right. So, what else there, Beth? Now, uh, let's see. You, we, there's a few things that we wanted. To, you went into uh, following up on last week's show. You yes. went into sweeter than sap. I did. And you, I took Mark and Ezra. And what'd and you get? Did you get the Cinnabon? Yes. So I didn't tell Mark anything about it. I just said, get in the car. We're going to go uptown. And he said, I don't want to go uptown. It's stupid. (laughs) And so we went uptown because he has no choice when I say things, obviously. (laughs) And we we went in. He's like, oh, we're getting baked goods. And I'm like, yeah. And And I said, wait till you see these cinnamon rolls. Now, right before we got in there, another family had gone in. Right. And there was an, an older couple and they were adorable. And the... The woman turns around. She didn't know me, you know, but she turns around and looks right at me and goes, Oh my God, did you see those cinnamon rolls? They're the size of my head. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah. And they are. They are huge. You were saying last week, 
that they were the size of dinner plates, and I laughed because I thought you were exaggerating. Yeah. No, she you, said dinner plates. I said a turtle. They, they're like uh, like a turtle. They look like a turtle to me. Same size. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I was like, because we exaggerate here on AG Today. and yeah, We weren't so in that case. That was not an exaggeration. No. no. That was insanity is what that was. So I got one, and Insanely it's super delicious. cheap. I think they were like six bucks for that huge cinnamon roll. And <laughs> really, I got a cookie. Yeah, hmm. I was thinking, I was thinking like nine bucks, honestly, nine ten dollars. But no, I mean, judging by the size, of them, I'm thinking like sixteen. Yeah, yeah they're I mean, huge. What are you going to get nowadays for nine dollars? If we're just being honest, that's true. That's true. That's true. So we took it home, and I heated it up in the microwave for like thirty seconds. Zaba, Zabawa, Zabawa, <laughs> mm-hmm. and um, <laughs> ooh. You know how like when you have a cinnamon roll oh, that you didn't make yourself, the the outside ring is always like kind of dry, and you're yeah. like, oh, I gotta yeah. get through the outside ring to get to the juice oh, yeah. wants, of the middle. Yeah, wants the middle. Yeah, and I am the queen of waiting till Mark pulls the outside off, and then I dive in and get the middle part. And then, <laughs> you and Taylor both. It the pisses fact, me off. Yeah, the oh, fact that wow. we're still married is a a miracle. <laughs> and. Ooh. Mark was eating it, you know, with his little knife and fork like he does because he's so cute. And he, um, he's like, well, this, is, this is really good. And I'm like, oh, let me try a piece of the outside. And I'm like, huh, okay. No, guys, <laughs> this was a legit, like, like a perfect, perfect. Cinnamon even cinnamon the outside. Roll. And I'm not even saying that because she was on the show last, last week. I, I, you know how when you roll out a cinnamon roll. Right. Before you cut it. A lot of people don't put the inside gooiness all the way to the edge mm. because they're using that to like attach the cinnamon roll. Sure, it was gooey all the way oh, to the edge. Oh wow! Mm. that sounds That's good. What she said. Ooh. Oh my god, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. Uh, so it, it I was even nice. scraped the icing off the plate. That's how good it was. How was the icing? Obviously, it's homemade. Good. Yeah, it was freaking good. Matt, I got a Ooh. question for you, buddy. Yeah, but wait, wait. Is there more to the story? Yes. No. Oh. So I saw her mom. <laughs> yeah. In there. Ooh. Uh-huh. And she was huh. in the back, and I didn't oh, want to interrupt wow. her because she was baking stuff. And so her mom was there. And she goes, "I, are, are you Bethany?" And I'm like, "Yes." And she goes, "Well, <laughs> I just wanted to tell you how thankful we are that you let Sarah come on the show because she's Ooh. not a big talker to people she doesn't know, and she just really opened up on your show. And you guys had the right oh. questions to ask her, and you sounded like you really knew what you were talking about." Very nice. I wonder what part of the show she was listening to. <laughs> Lord, that's the longest cheer in the history of cheers. Well, you know, they're very happy that they're the mother happy. liked the show. And then um, she said, and I, I think she has planning on bringing you guys some food. Oh, thank you. Now we're now, talking. Yeah. Yeah, now, yes. now I'm happy. Now you're yeah. getting to the goodies. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of, Matt, having facial hair, this is a this is a you know a plight we both have. Right. Does it make eating cinnamon buns? Yes. So much more difficult. Uh, it makes eating a lot of things difficult. It, it's all in the mustache. It's dude. all in the stash and, and you know in the goatee too. If you're particularly uh, uh, aggressive in the way you eat, uh, you know same thing with wings. You know how um, often I suck things out of my mustache. Oh my yeah. god. Well, you gotta constantly oh. have a napkin. It's like bite Always. wipe, bite wipe, Always. bite wipe, it's and I hate that, it. It's either that or the mustache is going in the mouth. You know. It's one of the two choices. What do you mean the mustache is going I in the just, mouth? Why? Like, stop talking. Mine's long enough to go around my lip. <laughs> Please stop oh, talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I let it get that way, and then I'm, that gets really annoying, and I have to trim well, it. Well, you know what sucks is when you go to bite a burger mm. and you bite your mustache. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or like you're really bored driving in the car, and you start <laughs> ch- trimming your mustache with your teeth. <laughs> I, I like to chew I like to chew on these edges right here. My, to my everybody Fu Manchu listen, edges. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I do the Fu Manchu edge chew, too. <laughs> How do you not? Man? Yeah, it's you like have to. girl playing with her hair. You can't not. Do it <laughs> exactly. That's what I say. Aren't you glad that is not a problem? With oh, sorry, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie. Debbie Jones oh, here as well. Why are you? Why Hi, are you saying sorry to her? Ooh. I was traumatized <laughs> by this conversation. Oh, I was saying sorry because she went to talk and I didn't have the mic on. Oh, it's not traumatizing. I love you. Debbie. This is. Facts. I love you too. This is fact. Yeah. Ooh. I was simply saying, aren't you glad this is not an issue we have to deal with? No. Although my testosterone level is super high, so eventually this wow. might happen. But right yeah. now I'm okay. Wow! Don't take any tips from these two. Okay. Is what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's nothing like a there's nothing like a good must mustache chew when you're driving down the road. Yeah, it's true. 
It's true. And, and you, you know, can't even hear. A it. chew in the lip and a and a chew on the teeth, man. That's, That's right. A chew in the yeah, that, there you go. Just a pinch between your cheek and gum of hair and tobacco. That's all you need. That's he it. Stood <laughs> as erect as I am now. Okay, so I'm disturbed. So that was nice though. So <laughs> so her parents stopped. watched the show and they were uh pleased with it. Pleased oh, as punch. she was oh she was all excited. Now, um, uh, you, you said that, I don't know if you said this this time or, or when it was before. I know you said it before, but I don't know if you said it again this time, if you got to that point or we interrupted you. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the parents also, the mother, her mother also said that she doesn't really talk a lot. Yeah. But she, she we apparently. brought her out of her shell. We did. Yes. And um, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. And, so I, and, you know, I have to say, she, she spoke very well for yeah. someone who doesn't really talk a lot. Well, and for somebody who's only 24 years old yeah uh, she I mean, handled herself very well i would have if if you hadn't said that and she had not confirmed it i would have thought she was older but she looks she just she, she looks young though i mean like not she like looks a baby, young for sure but, but she does look younger she doesn't look older than 24 no but, she but she's mature herself different yeah. very ma- she's very mature yeah. in that yeah. way and i mean i would assume that comes from owning your own business i mean i don't know my own business i don't well, know but like i would assume like you i have don't to recommend it <laughs> You kind of have to have a certain bearing so that people take you seriously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know uh, what it is, is she's just she knows what she wants to do and she's driven to accomplish. Uh, yeah, and, and I really admire that. And usually people who are that way are way more mature than their age. Oh, because yeah. they because they were always, you know, singly focused on what they One wanted thing. to do. Yeah, and they weren't, you know, spending all their time partying and that's that's what the worker mentality is. To go yeah. out and party, at, you know, working for the weekend, all that stuff. But the entrepreneur, the business owner mentality is, ah, I can't be bothered with that. You guys are idiots. You know, it's true. That's what how about I was with those... my music when I was growing up. What? Uh, that's how I was with my music when I was growing up. Everybody would be going to parties. I'd be at home playing the piano. That's right. That's writing a, songs. That's exactly right. You, well, you, you have to band. be dedicated. Explain those people that are like me then. Well, what are you like? That don't party. That don't party? <laughs> <laughs> well, th- that's Same. just because nobody wants to invite you to things. <laughs> oh, oh. No, no, no. That's not true. Wow. I feel hit below the belt this. there. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, way to just knife to the heart yeah. here. To everybody oh, that's dude. listening to the show right now, I know that you like me, even if Matt doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the, the reality of it is I'm waiting for the comments to start people, coming through. Bethany's the best. Yeah, that's what true. I was going to say, is that people uh, liked Veronica better, and they like you better. That's why I have you guys on. Because <laughs> if, if I didn't have you guys on, nobody would watch. It's true. That's what they say in the emails. Uh, that is not of, true. It's exactly true. I have a bunch of them here today we're going to get to later on. You know, I had an entire... I'll give you one sentence from one. If it weren't for Bethany, I wouldn't watch your show. Now, I can read upside down, and that is not what that says. (laughs) Look, if it weren't for Bethany... (laughs) She's a mom. She has the ability to read upside down and backwards. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) So... So go ahead. So you would have been part of the Salem Witch Trials is what you're saying. Oh, 110%. (laughs) (laughs) I would have been burned, yeah, at the stake. Mm -hmm. Um... No, I was just having this conversation with somebody the other day, and I can't remember who it was, but somebody was saying about you, and I said... He's really not that bad of a guy. I, and I <laughs> said... That's how I explain you to everyone. 110%. <laughs> I said, on this show, he is a completely different human than ha- what he is like in real life. I right. said, what you guys it's don't see is the dinner we have afterwards where he analyzes everything he just said and like we have to counsel him through <laughs> the I, anything he said. Right. So absolutely missing, true. What you guys are also missing is how Matt and I are nothing different from what we are on the show when we're together. <laughs> oh, we're together. Yeah. 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 It's all about yeah. who you're in front of. But wait, so, so what, what were they saying? Like, how do you work with such an asshole? Or? No, 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 oh. no. They were just like, he just seems very like... That's exactly what Pompous and arrogant. <laughs> like he has, you know, he's a, is a, he's kind of a dick. He, he, he I don't hear that word was not said, <laughs> but and I said yes, I, but it's a shtick. Yeah, it yeah. is a shtick. Like I because, and you know what example I bring up every single time? Mm-hmm. I said he is not like that because he sent us as a group a Valentine's Day text about how thankful That's he was that true. we were all here. And somebody who is a jerk face would not do that. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, I appreciate what you do. I mean, like I said last week, you guys are here out of the goodness of your own heart. You're not getting paid to do it. You're just no. here to blow off steam and have fun. And I don't know what other motives you may have. And so I appreciate it. I recognize, you know, it's time and effort. You come in with the news all ready to go. And, uh, you know, I mean, you've got a job, you've got a kid, you've got other stuff to do. I'm aware of that stuff. But frankly, someone who is as nice as they are in person on a show like this is boring to me. Like, you know, the like the, the dick kind of attitude is like what makes me laugh. And that people go, how do you work with it? He's such a, he's such a dick. I'm like, well, why would you put on it? That makes me laugh. Like they don't get it. They yeah. don't get the character. And that's yeah. what is funny to me. So yeah. I like when people <laughs> tell me these stories because yeah. it tells me I'm a better actor than I think I am. Maybe I should get into acting. Yeah. That's yeah. what there I should do. There you go. There you go. Maybe. Yeah. Problem um, with, solved. With the voices you've oh. done for us, oh, you 100% could get into voice acting speaking, at the very least. Speaking of well, acting. Yeah, that would be fun. I, I have a proposal for you, Matt. You know, Taylor and I like to go to New York City. Nope. To to Not doing it. But listen, <laughs> nope. I haven't even heard the proposal. I, say, I don't. Poor no. Nope. Finish. Don't want to go to guess, Broadway. Guess who is starring? Guess who is starring in Othello on Broadway in the coming months? Lawrence Fishburne. Close. You're you are so much closer than you. Forrest than you Whitaker. Mm, you getting Samuel L. Jackson closer? Oh my my man Denzel. Yes. Oh. Denzel and Jake. I Dillon still Hall. wouldn't risk my life Ooh. to go to listen, New York. I don't care. I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be packing my. 100% non-metallic dagger and I'm going to go to that show. Now what? Uh, you know, uh, you're what, the one that's going to get going. arrested by the way, Colby. <laughs> if you have to use that in New York City to defend yourself, you're the one going to jail. I'll still be alive. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's done cla- uh, what they would call classic theater a couple times now. He was in um Colby did? No, 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 no. Denzel. Oh, Denzel, I yeah. I not done that. No, I love Denzel Washington. What was the one he was in that I had just, Emma Thompson in it? Uh, um, oh. Look Who's Coming to Dinner. No. Um, so I Married an Axe Murderer. Hamlet. Hamlet. No. No. Uh, the so other I one. I Married an Axe Murderer is great, by the way. <laughs> I can't let that go by. Debbie, I'm, the Googler is on it. It's Hang such on. a good movie, dude. <laughs> Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. No. 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 Um... Othello. No. That's what I said. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Is it like a funny thing happened oh, on the way to the wow. forum or something? Ooh. No. Uh, oh, he's. it's not Othello. He's starring in King Lear. No. Oh, wait. King, no, that was before. He's that was starring before. in Othello. I just saw it. I just saw oh, it the wow. other day. Yes, you are correct. Him and he has, Dylan however, Hall. starred in, in King Lear as well. Right, but, but that's it. You, you hit the um, nail on the head. The Iceman Cometh. Ah, the Iceman no, no, no. Cometh. No, no, no. Are you talking about I mean, Chuck Liddell? Uh, Wait, no. the Iceman Cometh. The... Yes, that is a classic. Are they talking about Chuck Liddell or Val Kilmer? I need IMDb. Much Ado About Nothing. Ooh. Thank you. Whoever oh, that was Much Ado About section. Nothing. Ah, okay. uh, yeah. Put that on a See, I wasn't thinking about that because... He's mentioning Broadway, Thank so you, I was Grant. looking up Broadway stuff. Grant, but once yes, again, coming in for the save. That's Grant in Australia I knows what's going on. He knows what's going on. What's raisin the sun? A, ra- a raisin in the sun. Oh, raisin. Yeah, that's another. I thought it said raisin classic. the sun. <laughs> raisin the sun. You look like an uncultured swine. That's all right. I'm a marine. I can be uncultured. <laughs> Third battalion. Third marine infantry regiment. Three right. three. <laughs> so uh, okay. So that reminds me. Uh, uh, I'm going to skip uh, what I wanted to talk about next and move to the third thing. Bingo cards. Uh, oh, we've yeah. noticed in the comments people are talking about bingo cards. Cindy and I were talking about it the other day, and she wants to make them. Oh Cindy, uh, go, go to the mic if you don't mind, please. Uh, you can go to the intercom or whatever. Or, yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Just go to that mic. All right. Uh, so, Cindy, oh, thanks. let's talk about this now here. Uh, pull that a little closer to your mouth so that we can hear you. All right. Very good. Don't be afraid to manhandle it. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, um, what are you thinking here? What do we need from... The folks. So we need suggestions on what you want to go in the boxes for the bingo card. Right. Now, how are we going to do this? Because we were saying the problem we're going to have is distribution, right? Uh, we, we, okay. Walk us so, through this here. Bingo card thing. I don't, I'm, I've lost what you guys are talking well, about. Well, if you pay attention in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> pay 
attention in the chat, you'll notice that like a lot right of folks talked about bingo cards, and that wasn't on my bingo card today, and all that type of stuff. So, like a game of bingo. Yes, like a game of okay. bingo. All right. Okay. <laughs> you know, um, we so we need some suggestions on what to put on it. There is the, so the card. Um, you can set it up so that it mixes them up. We were going to do a few different options, and you were going to put them on Patreon. So we're going to test that out. But the first step is getting <laughs> right. Like we're going to have crazy. five. Ooh, we're going to have five cards, and, like, right? Like I Colby it. mentions Marines, something yes. like that. Yes. No, I, I got you. I got. A, I got a few in the box right now, ready to go. Third yeah. Battalion, yeah. Third Marine Infantry <laughs> Regiment, three three. <laughs> one, one is one is what was Matt's band's name? <laughs> no, no, it's no, not no, a no, quiz. No, Do you know how to not. play bingo? No, I'm not 85 <laughs> years old. I don't know how to play bingo. <laughs> So what happens is you have to if if it's said during the show you mark that uh, off and you have to get the oh my vote. god did you it's see like what a drinking no. game but without the alcohol Dragoon right said Matt complaining who had bingo <laughs> cards trans. on their bingo card <laughs> wait what wait 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 let's think about Anthony's phone call last week folks okay Beth what he said Dragoon said who had bingo cards on their bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Nobody. That's good. I like that. So okay. So that's the so the idea that so now let's say we do five of them. So five mm -hmm. uh, jumbled up versions, exactly. right? And then so I can uh, Patreon created a thing where you can do like a, a store with digital downloads. I can make things free there as well, and so I can make them free. I can make them available to anybody. I think. I think I well, know I can make them. It. Yeah, I know I can make them free to paid members. I'm not sure I can make them free to free members or non-members. I don't know. I'll look into that. But if I can do it, mm -hmm. I'll make it free. I'll put I'll put five different uploads up there. We'll name them one, two, three, four, five, and you know everybody just go on and pick them at random. You know, hopefully. Yes. Now, and if you win, go mm -hmm. ahead. So then, what happens is if you get bingo, you have to put bingo in the chat. Mm -hmm. And the first, we haven't determined yet, five, ten people, however many, right. are going to be put into a drawing so that we can draw the winner right. of that week's bingo. Because so, that's like that's the other thing, too, is like, you know, it, it, we'll have, let's say, five versions. Right. But, but what if everybody decides, definitely. well, I'm going to pick something random and they all go to three? Because that definitely. seems to be when you say a number between one and five, people go three. So Because it's then, between one and five. It, a number, Even, not the number. So... Uh, you know, so like then we'll have a lot of people with five. So we have to cut it off at a certain number yes. in case that happens. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Well, that's it. Well, so, wait. <laughs> that's so, the game. so you got to have you complaining as one of them. Me mentioning the Marine Corps. Well, so this is you right. Gotta have, you yes. got to have Pam's train whistle. So there everybody. Oh, there you go. Pancakes there is no and, time. There is no time. Pancakes, Pancakes and small mountains. mountains. So um, go ahead and, small and mountains. keep putting these in the chat. And then I'm there going is to. There's no time. Lentz gets hurt. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Good one. <laughs> and then we'll keep track He's of not it. even on right now to defend himself. At I least think, I don't I think Veronica's is, should be on there, too. I don't know how you write Oh, it. man. Oh. That's an easy win, though. Because if, if I get you laughing with that, I keep doing it. Oh. <laughs> you know? Ooh. Wait, listen. Oh. Ooh. That's the best <laughs> noise. I think that's ever been recorded in history. Ooh. I love that. It's my favorite Veronica Ooh. noise. It's better than her singing about kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So that's the bingo card thing yeah. there. We're gonna. So, but we need help from the 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 Vulcan. We do. So the Vulcan, they've already the Vulc, uh, to uh, yeah. Come the, up with the cards. Yeah, what we're putting on them. So they've already started. It looks like. Okay, so good. we're so gonna take keep notes. track of this. Okay, we're gonna yeah. take notes and and we'll incorporate them. Thank you, the lovely Cindy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Cindy. Um, you did great. Okay. <laughs> He's still not understanding it. <coughs> Colby? No, I got it. I'm, oh, on, I'm it. on board now. Yeah, he oh, wait, gets it. One of the things should be Colby going, wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> that, that's a fair. That's like fair. You have a, an, an excuse shuffler that just comes up with this magic card as soon as you need it. Every time you lose one, you get a new one. <laughs> I stand by those words. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, let, let, so back to uh, a couple more things here. Uh, we're getting. Close to, I got, but I got to get this in here. So, okay, listen. So, my lease is up on my car, right? It's going to be up in July. Oh, but I like to get I'm not out giving of you. You leasing car. that car, bro? Yeah. Get out. Get that. out. Get out quick. Leases are the worst thing in the world. I love leases. You know why? Because every three years, when the car starts needing repairs on certain things, I get rid of it. I get a new car. 
And why am I gonna why am I gonna go into debt for something that loses value over time? Because then you can own it. What own own something that's worthless? But then, listen, you you're you're thinking short term game. If you own it, and then the next vehicle you want to go get, it takes that much money off. Of that vehicle. I understand, but they do that with the leases too. So no, look, they transfer over your miles. If you go over uh, no, miles, no, no. If you wait until the end of the lease, if you get out before it, they give you the buyout value, and it's. Hey, I I like <laughs> having a new car, and and the other thing is, uh, well, here. So listen. So I want to get a Wrangler, right? Now they're yeah. not they're not cheap, but uh, last year was better, and this year looks like. It's going to be good. Now, I'm not one to say, uh, oh, uh, I might have something coming in this year, so I'm going to go and yeah. <laughs> spend extra money. But I wanted to just go and like price them out, right? Yeah. So I go to the Jeep dealership. Uh huh. And I'm walking around the lot. I'm looking in the Jeeps because I want a manual transmission. I don't want. What? Oh, shut up, Colby. Hey, first of all, listen, if you, you? if you get a Wrangler, it's, also, it's turn your not. Camera, turn your camera a little towards you. you. You're like almost out of the shot. There you go. <laughs> For those of you not watching, I turned it all the way around on Beth. Um, so, so um, uh, no, listen, th there's a there's an un it's actually in the Constitution that if it is not a manual transmission, it is not a Wrangler, no matter what you call it. This is truth. Okay. Uh, also, if it's also like a mini pickup truck, it looks like some kind of weird Lego thing. Also, not a Wrangler. You gonna start Got giving it. people the two finger wave? Okay, so when yeah. I had my Wrangler, when I had my Wrangler, all of a sudden I noticed people started waving Dude, at me, do, and I was is, like, "What's this about?" And I felt, nuts. I felt so cool. I'm like, "Hey, man!" You know. <laughs> and then my best friend would always make fun of me. He's like, oh, "You're such a tool." Like, like <laughs> you hate that stuff. And I'm like, "Yeah, but they're waving at me. I don't want to be rude." Because then they'll go around telling everybody else that owns Wranglers, it's "Hey, like, this guy doesn't wave back." It's like the motor. It's like Harley deals with guys. Yeah. yeah. They point the ground or whatever. So anyway, so, yeah, I asked because I had a boss who owns a Harley. Mm -hmm. And I asked him about that once because I saw people do it all the time. It's two wheels on the ground. That's what that was. Is that what that means? Mm -hmm. So they're, they're confirming that, yes, sir, your wheels are both <laughs> on the ground. Well, with the Jeeps, <laughs> that they, it's, a it's weird... an acknowledgement of. All right, wait, let me get to the point of the story because this isn't even the point of the story. The point of the story is this <laughs> I, I'm looking around in the, you know, in the lot, right? Uh -huh. Now, first of all, this dealership is like, um, it, it's just, it's not inviting. Okay. I'm not going to name which one. But it's in Hanover. Now, it's not inviting. Um, it looks like they don't, it almost looks like it was abandoned. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm walking around, the winds with, <laughs> you know, just, like you're in a Clint nice. Eastwood movie. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm like, what happened to this town? Like, I'm coming on some ghost town in the middle <laughs> of the prairie, right? <laughs> and so, uh, and then I hear a voice from behind me, like in a Clint Eastwood movie, got a question? <laughs> That's all they say. Yeah, and I turn, I turn around. And Please and tell Melissa, me he's wearing boots and a cowboy hat. <laughs> I wish he no, but oh. it's it's actually kind of better. He looks like Sammy the the Bull Gravano. Okay, he's got a, <laughs> he's got his little goopaline on his head, and he's got like a sweater vest with a button down shirt and tie underneath it. You know, and he's jacked. Uh, you know, but he's like five four, and he's like. Uh, I said, yeah, actually, I got a couple of questions. Uh, you know, I have a lease with uh, Nissan. I, I'm, I've always wanted to get back into a Wrangler. How does that all work? You know, uh, and he goes, all right, come inside. Well, you know, uh, actually, it wasn't even that inviting. It's like, all right, come on inside. So we go inside. We sit down at his desk and I ask him a couple of questions. I go, I, I, I understand it's hard to get a manual transmission. He goes, yeah, yeah, it's not impossible, but it's hard. Did he really have this accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's looking at me like, you know, yeah, it's not impossible, but it's hard. Were you there for like five hours? I was there for five minutes because he, the, the whole, so you go in, it's dark inside. Um, there were vehicles in the showroom, but like they had shades pulled down on the window. So it wasn't bright like a showroom should be. And, um, I felt like there were, there were a couple of other salesmen in there who were not dealing with anybody. But I felt like this guy was pissed that he had to help me. Right. He had to get up. And also now let's go back to 2018 when I moved down here, I wanted to, I needed to get a new car and I wanted to get into a Jeep. So I went there to inquire and just look, cause it had been years since I had had one. And I wanted to see what was different. Same attitude back then. That was six years ago, seven years ago, something like that. So, uh, it, that nothing has changed apparently there with the attitude. And I was talking to somebody else and they're like, yeah, I went there too. Same thing. They, they act like they're pissed that you're trying to give them business. So I asked him a couple of questions. First of all, 
They're all hybrids now. Yeah. Not a Wrangler. They're not manual transmission. Not a Wrangler. So I'm like, I don't even want one anymore. So now what I'm going to have to do, Colby, back to the owning thing. You have to buy a used one. Yeah, I'm going to get a used one and then just plunk around town with that. Because the thing is, I have such bad luck with used cars. Why don't you go get you a new truck? Because I don't want to spend a fortune on gas. Well, you only drive five miles a week. I don't think. Uh, no, I do much. more than that because I do like twenty miles on those driving videos every day. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I don't. I, don't, I well, you know what? You, you don't think start, of that as miles, but you, you could start doing those walking videos. Oh, you can kiss my butt. <laughs> I don't have time to walk. If walking, if I could walk fast, I would do it. So anyway, uh, so I go over to Nissan and I'm like, okay, you know, I got to tell you. I'll be honest with you. I was going, I was trying to get into a Jeep, but those people are such a holes over there that uh, I forgot. You guys have treated me so well. I, you've treated me so well. All this is my this will be my third car with you guys. It's painless. Thank you for not being a holes about it. And he's like, oh well, we're commissioned. Uh, we're not commissioned. We're salaried, so we don't have to. You know, we're here to help you get what you want. We yeah. don't have to do any of the nonsense. And I was like. That's great. Everybody should be that way. And I go, I don't know what they are over there, but they act like they don't even want your business. It was like, did you ever see that early episode of The Family Guy when uh, Peter's going to set up, um, uh, like, like at a Chuck? No, it's not a Chuck E. Cheese, or maybe it's something like a Chuck E. Cheese for Stewie's birthday party, and um, and he he fails at it, and so he makes up this excuse and tells the story, and then they they cut away to the his depiction that he's given Lois of the story, and it's like this dark castle on a hill with <laughs> thunder and lightning and everything like that. That's kind of what it's like at this dealership, nice. like a real Glen yeah. Gary, Glen Gary, Glen Ross vibe up in there. I you know I've never seen it, so what? I don't know. You've never seen Glen Gary, Glen Ross? I'm not a fan of Glen Close. Well, good thing she's not in it. Well, I heard. Well, I just assumed she was because of all the Glens. <laughs> Um, okay, so there's that. And then I uh, decide uh, I need to get glasses because I've been starting to squint. I'm having a hard time reading. I went and bought readers a few months ago. I saw that. Yeah. And so now it's like, you know, maybe it's been over a decade since I've been to an eye doctor. So I need to. Wait, how do we get from cars to this? Well, I'm telling you about some things that uh, have pissed <laughs> me off this week. If you had a bingo card, this, this, is this would be. This is what grinds your gears. This is what could yeah, You know what grinds my gears? So. I go to the eye doctor, right? Mm -hmm. Now the exam's like now they don't take my insurance. Oh, well, how's much how much is the exam? Seventy bucks. Okay, fine. Get the exam. Go out to look at glasses. They're like, oh, we're running specials. And it's like if you match the blue with the red, you could do all you could do two blue or you could do different blue and yellow and blue, but then they're all different prices based on the colors and everything. I'm like, okay, whatever. I just whatever looks good, that's what I'm gonna do. They're like eight million dollars. Well, no, I mean, you know, uh, glasses are always expensive, right? Yeah. But the frames weren't expensive. But oh, really? they get you with the lenses. Well, I mean, what the the one frame I picked out was like 179 bucks. Okay. Eh. And but then but then uh, the other like the secondary frame I got was like 69 bucks, and that was going to be my backup frame. And so I was like, and then they they do something where it's it's cheaper. It's a it's a price yeah. in between, uh -huh. right? Okay, so. Now the girl sits me down. I've, I've narrowed it down to the two. And I told her, you're, you're going to have your work cut out for you because I hate the way I look, period. And when I put something on my face, I really hate the way I look. So you need to be honest with me and tell me, you know, like how ugly am I? So uh, she was good. She was good. She helped me pick two. I sent Cindy pictures and she picked two. And those were the two I liked. And I was like, okay, good. So we're on the same page there. Sit down. She's like, okay, now do you want this coating? Do you want the blue blocking? Do you want the anti-glare? And I'm like, well, yeah, I need all that stuff. You know, I, I drive cars at night and I, I do have problems with, uh, you know, glare and, and things. And I'm sitting in front of a computer all the time. Okay. And then she's like, you want it in both lenses? I'm like, yeah. And what do they call them? Progressive lenses, uh -huh. right? And I said, well, I'm more middle of the road. And she goes, no, it has nothing to do with politics. And I go, oh, okay. And then uh, <laughs> she's like, puts those in. And she goes, now, which ones do you want? She shows me a chart. She's like, this one has a very narrow vision. And then as you go here, this is more of a full vision. And, and I go, well, I do go out on the battlefield a lot. And I need big vistas. And I'm starting to do video stuff. And I go, well, maybe that one. She's like, okay. You taken and then she's like, you. $819. And I said, all right, so let's start chipping away at those. <laughs> And I said, you know what? The backup pair, I don't need any of that stuff. Just give me a lens. In fact, I don't even need a lens. I just need it for show. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm by the frame. So she took all the stuff off of that one. And uh, then she's like, okay, 700 and whatever dollars. And I was like, what? 
Yeah. It only took off 100. I said, okay, well, let's go through the thing. I don't need the super fancy lens that has the wide field of view. I guess I'll have the narrow field of view like a horse. So, uh, okay, so here, you know, when they put the blinders on them, that's what I mean. And uh, so I pick whatever there. And then anyway, we whittle it down to $493. What happened to the 150 or 75 or whatever? Well, right. so I said, well, so I said, you know what? I don't need the second pair. I'm just going to. So I took the $179 pair because it was a little more rugged and I, I'm clumsy. So, uh, so I said, take the other pair off. So that's only like 80 bucks, whatever. I forget what I said it was. Um, but it's under a hundred dollars, so they take that off. And so, but they also take all the lens additions on or on it off as well, and it still is five hundred dollars. And I'm like, Jesus, like, what if? It's just everything is so expensive. How much are those? Just put them on. Oh, let's see how blind you are. Let's get a close up here, Coley. Which yeah. means I just got to move in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like looking through one of those old Coke bottles. Can you see anything right now, Bethany? Not really. So you probably see what I see. Like your vision is probably as blurry as my vision is now. Uh-huh. Wow. You're as blind as a bat. Yeah. And I have sight. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, glasses and uh, Jeep dealership in uh, Hanover. Listen, if you're in the area, I'm telling you, the Nissan people, they take care of you right over there in Hanover. Tell them I sent you, and they'll say who. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to get another Nissan then? That's, not, that's the yeah, that's but the I'm, upgrading, I'm upgrading. I'm upgrading. Uh, well, I'm in a Rogue Sport now, and I'm moving up to a Rogue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so freaking baller, dude. You know what I want, Colby? I want something cheap, and I want something reliable. I don't care. I I had a pickup. I had a Dodge Ram. And yeah, I, the, the, every other day I had to put gas in it because it, it, they're gas guzzlers and it, gas is too friggin' expensive. Um, plus I have you. So if I need a truck, I'll just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he got me the other day. <laughs> I, I did. For a, uh, I have I, just to preface this. We, but I paid the meter for you. <laughs> we, we went and he did do that now in all fairness. I'll, I'll give him credit. He paid my meter. <laughs> We What's went, right is right, Colby. We went and picked up a, a king size mattress and a bed frame. Yes, courtesy up, of Fran Fiuk. Thank you. Very ended much, up Fran. taking that. It's not fun. It is. It is. Uh, you don't it, like. It doesn't look that much bigger until you get in it, dude. But the dog and you're, the and dog I, eats up that. No, space, no, though. she's down in the crate. We, we, I'm, I'm spread eagle, and I'm not even touching Cindy. It's yeah. nice, man. It's somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Marco Polo, <laughs> and she sleeps on the edge. Even though an, she has I'm got this, all this, I'm an edge she's on the edge. <laughs> yeah, maybe you guys should be together because Listen, you guys have no, so much in no, common. No, but 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 you know, maybe that's why you like me so much. You know, <laughs> that's why she I likes have, me. I so have much. so many similarities to Babs from Battlefield Brew Works, and you know, she's met her yet. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> she's won my heart because she allegedly has brought. If I food, open that door. Uh, Food da. And there is sure waddle deedle daddle. So we're going to eat. So we'll be right back after these words with Bab Small from Battlefield Brew Works and Spirits of Gettysburg Distillery and Brew Works. Bab Small coming up right now in a, five minutes, two minutes. I don't know. Be right back. <laughs> Want to promote your Gettysburg business? Send an email to sales at addressing Gettysburg.com. <laughs> But that's it. You hit the nail on the head. Hey, now wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I said more hands. Zero point zero. Hey, Gettys nerds. 2024 is shaping up to be a fun year for addressing Gettysburg, and we want you to join us. Our Get Out of the Car Tour is put together and led by licensed battlefield guide Lewis Trott kick off in April and will be available at a later date for the first time ever on our YouTube channel. Speaking of our YouTube channel, Gettysburg National Military Park's Winter Lecture Series is available exclusively over there from January through March. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a single one. We have much more in the works, so be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and now for free on Patreon. We hope to get to meet and spend time with many of you this year as we spread the word about the Battle of Gettysburg and the Civil War. Help us teach the masses that history is not boring. 
movies and documentaries about history are spread out across the internet, and their quality is often suspect. History Fix delivers curated historic programming to your preferred device using their website or branded apps. Join History Fix for movies, documentaries, short films, and how-tos. Addressing Gettysburg podcast fans receive 20% off their first annual subscription. So what are you waiting for? Sign up at www.historyfix.com and use promo code ADGBURG. That's A-D-G-B-U-R-G. Want the freshest cup of coffee in Gettysburg? Then visit Bantam Roasters, formerly 82 Cafe at 82 Steinware Avenue. They roast all of their coffee in-house and they have a full coffee bar to keep you caffeinated during your trip. Visit them at www.raggededgerc.com for their menu and shipping options for all of their freshly roasted coffee. Use promo code HANCOCK for 10% off your order in the cafe. This episode of Addressing Gettysburg is brought to you in part by me, audiobook narrator Mike Scott. Narrator of Savas Beattie's Bloody Autumn, the Shenandoah Valley Campaign of 1864, and, unlike anything that ever floated, The Monitor and Virginia and the Battle of Hampton Roads. If you are an author or publisher interested in having your titles produced as audiobooks, or even just in learning more about the process, give me a shout. You can find my contact info on my website, mikescottvoice.com. That's mikescottvoice.com. And Civil War Trails. It's the world's largest open-air museum, and they offer over 1,300 sites across six states. Drive the Gettysburg Campaign turn-by-turn, turn, paddle to Frederick Douglass's birthplace, or hike to remote earthworks and artillery positions. Visit CivilWarTrails.org to request a brochure and explore their interactive map. Follow Civil War Trails and create some history of your own. You're listening to The Dressing Gettysburg Podcast. Seems like we haven't seen you in forever. Welcome back to Addressing Gettysburg Today. Here's Matt. All right. So, <clears throat> you know, we love to eat on this show, don't we? <laughs> I'm sorry, Beth. I'm sorry. Go ahead. We love to eat on this show, don't we, Beth? Yeah, that is a true statement. And um, we we love to have... What are sorry, you doing? I, I can't find the slider. I'm so tired. All right. So we love to have local businesses on. That's what AG Today is about. It's about, about a, a it. Gettysburg today, right? So we have another uh, place for you to eat. Actually, am I mistaken? This is our first restaurant brewery. I think it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cindy says it is the first. So <laughs> we're going to talk to our guest, Bab Small from Battlefield Brew Works and Spirits. Hi. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> so uh, Battlefield Brew Works, interesting place. Mm -hmm. You ever been? Uh, of course. Yes, of course I've been there. Um, a couple of years ago I was there. Um, who was I meeting? A listener was there. with. He brought, it was, uh, I think he was, uh, he was military. I forget which branch. But he he was there with like his his guys, his officers that he brought out for a tour of the battlefield and stuff like that. And uh, he was a listener to the show and he invited me out and we went out there and I had a beer with him. And yeah, it's nice. It's a cool place. It's been there a long time though. Not under the same ownership, correct? No. Since 1995, it has been the same owner. Oh, it has? Yeah. It said different management. Okay. But the same owner. Oh, interesting. All right. So um, uh, yeah, I remember I was there in the 90s at one point and yeah. my dad and I went there. Um, now it's in an old Confederate Field hospital, correct? Right. Okay, tell us about that. So it was... Um, and pull, pull pull that mic a little closer to your mouth. Like this? There you go. Oh, okay, that's a little awkward. Yeah, no. Okay, so it was uh, the Monfort Farm. It was So it was just, it was a farm here in Gettysburg. It was 180 acres. Um, uh, we've dated it back to 1848 when it was built. Um, there's different ways you can, like, date things, like by taxes or insurance or whatever, but it was a farm. Okay. Um, so, but it was, so it was pre-Civil War. And but then um, during the Civil War, it's the oldest Confederate field hospital during the Battle, battle of, of Gettysburg. You mean the oldest uh, 
building that they made a field hospital in? Right. Okay, um, gotcha. And, uh, Confederate. Confederates, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it was Alabama, Florida, and Georgia. Soldiers were there and on that property. So the And property, you're from Alabama. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Bammy? You call it Bammy? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No, it's <laughs> Alabama. Just check it. <laughs> And they All don't right. say sweet home Alabama. Well, that's true, but I thought, you know, I mean, we call it Joyzy when, you know, in Jersey, making fun of ourselves. So I thought maybe people uh, in Alabama call it Bammy. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we're, I, I'm, I'm an Auburn person, so I, we, we're barners. Okay. So it works, it works out perfect for me so, to work in a barn. Now, what brought you up here? Yeah, right. What yeah, brought um, you up here? My husband is a, uh, his, his job. His job brought you up here. Yeah. Okay. We're, that's farm. top secret. No, oh. he's a sales rep for Kubota. Oh, okay. All right. Very so he good. sells farm equipment. All right. And then, so how long have you been up here? Uh, 20 years. Oh, all right. And yeah. you like it here? I do. I've yeah. been in Gettysburg for 12 years. So we lived up towards State College at the beginning of our, when we first moved, but um, ended up in Gettysburg and absolutely love it. Yeah. How do you, how do you like the winters though? I mean, I imagine it's warmer in Alabama. So it's a different kind of cold, though. You know, you got to think like down there, we're closer to the Gulf. So you've got like a deep, a, a cold that like goes to your bones. Okay. Like anytime you're near water, you yeah. know, the cold is different. Um, so we have a really wet cold down there. It can, hmm. it can like four degrees up here um, and can be 12 down there. Um, and they're colder. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. The, the wet ruins everything, the heat or the cold, <laughs> Absolutely. right? You know, Absolutely. True statement. I would rather, you know, be warm rain than oh, me cold too. rain. Yeah, no. I, oh, please, yeah. I, I'll take the heat. I'll sweat in humidity uh, all the live long day. I, I can't I can't yeah. take the cold. I yeah. can't stand it. So I would it's, rather it's, be freezing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't like cold. I mean, I, I don't mind the cold now. I've acclimated, but at first, it's hard to go home. My son lives in the Panhandle, Florida, and we go down and visit and um, he complains constantly that, uh, you know, they're freezing at 60 degrees and we've got the air conditioner on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So comes home from work and goes, what are you doing? Yeah. But we're hot and I never dress accordingly anymore when I go visit. But yeah. So you, your, your job at uh, the, the um, uh, Brew Works is uh, managing social media and music. I do. So how often do you guys have music out there? So we're booking really a lot right right now, starting okay. up. We do, um, I'm, so I'm going to have, the next couple of months, I'm going to have music probably, right now we have open mic every single, every Thursday night. Really? Um, tonight, um, we just started this last week where we're doing it every Thursday. And we're going to try this up until the end of April, see how that continues on. Because, you know, once Gettysburg starts getting really busy with a lot of tourists and stuff, People go other places on Thursday night, yeah. but we'll just see how open mic goes. But right now we're loving it and it's bringing a great group of people in and a lot of local musicians and they have a lot of fun. And every other Friday we have, um, we call it a music jam. Um, we have two guys come in and they play music and you get up and jam. And with if them? you want to get up and jam, you can, if you just want to sit and listen, that's cool. You know, so that they should kind of keep that open for anybody to do that. Then we book music on Saturdays. I'm starting to do every Saturday. Just left over there and booked goat yoga. What's that? So goat gonna, yoga? Goat yoga. I've always wondered about that. Now yeah. what is it like? It's like baby goats and they crawl on your chest and yeah, stuff? they crawl on your back. And, oh really? Yeah. Oh that must feel good actually. Yeah. I get Cindy to step on my back once in a while and give me a good cracking. She did it the other day. My back was <laughs> killing me and she did, and she did it and it like it had me set right for two days. Could you imagine a baby goat doing that though? Walking on your back? I mean, I don't know if it would do the trick, but I would like to. Do, who, I does mean, it, who doesn't love in, baby goats? So. Little, I mean, they're of course they're cute. They're adorable. But I'd be afraid it would, it would poop on me. Like, a, no, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, I think about that. That's what I think about. It's where my mind goes immediately. That hasn't come up when I was talking to them about <laughs> okay. this. Though. I mean, I'm sure it happens, and everybody you laughs. sign a waiver, a poop says, waiver. Do, yeah, you do. Yeah. If it, have you done it? Me. No, yeah. no. My best friend has a goat farm. One is the same person. No, 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 no. not no. the same person. Um, so I have I look at goats very differently <laughs> than that. Because, you look at goats different because they bite. Because I, I'm used to like, <laughs> you know, they they get out and then you have to get them back in the pen right. and then are they hard to wrangle? They can be, but uh -huh. if you have food, oh, yeah. you know they'll follow you. But then I'll follow you. If there's you always food. the one or two that get away. And, yeah, this is new for us because, you know, I'm looking at doing a murder mystery. Oh, I'm going to do one of those. People That'd love be that. Fun. Um, and then, like I said, the goat yoga. But I'm going to try to incorporate with the goat yoga with um, like a tattoo artist come in and maybe do some you little, know, little succulent 
tattoos or baby goat tattoos yeah, yeah. to go along with the goat yoga. So yeah. I'm working on a lot of... What's a succulent to, tattoo? You know, the little succulent plant. Oh, like a plant. That's yeah. what I thought you were... Yeah. Like, yeah, but okay. Like yes. a tattoo But, but I said plant. it differently. Right? Okay. If no, no, no. A, I know. <laughs> if you need a group of people to come and do like a like a staged murder mystery, yeah. you know, like like guinea pigs to try it out, I think the group from AG today would be a great <laughs> oh yeah group of people yeah. to try out. I'll a play murder the detective, mystery. and Colby will be the murder victim. No, no, no. I'm not oh. saying be the actors. I'm saying try like to... participate in it and to see how it yeah. would go. Yeah. We'd be a good canned audience. Oh, I think you would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll well, definitely we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would love to do that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That'd be fun. What were you saying, Colby? Yeah, right. I'm not the murder victim. <laughs> Taliban can't even kill me, bro. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. Um, I did have a question for our guest. Go ahead. Being as she's from the South and has lived here for 20 years, how much do you miss food from down South? Mm, a lot. You miss like, I, but, I, but I mean, well, I make uh, the restaurant. Actually, we do a lot of like comfort foods like I would have at that I would, you know, get at home, like the meatloaf and green beans, mashed potatoes, those kind of things, yeah. you know, because I love home cooking. And we do, use, you know, try to during season, especially use fresh vegetables and try to, you know, acquire things like that. So the the things that I might miss from home would be like. You know, just fried chicken, cheese grits. But you could you could make that. But I about, but I yeah. but I cook the same way that that I I was raised. Right. I still cook that way. And you can find all the ingredients when I cook, here. I we have really farms do. all over the place. Oh, yeah, and yeah. So you could get whatever. Yeah. So yeah. you can make anything. Yeah. Grits definitely. Y'all and, gonna make and, any? Y'all gonna make any hoe cakes at the at the brewery? I just time? was talking about that yesterday. I said, ah, oh, we don't have cornbread. And no one well, up here knows what a hoe, a hoe cake is. And I, I do. Try, sure I, try to, yeah. I try to explain it to people. Sure and they're do. like, mm, I don't get it's it. It's a lady yeah. of the evening's behind. <laughs> <We're that guy>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You just I need to cast an art skill. I'm door. sorry, folks. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I should have done this. I should have mm. been like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now, so. Did that even make a noise? Yeah. It's just down low. There you I'm go. not even hearing it. I do. Oh well, it's your headphones again. I, um, we're gonna we're gonna have to reset this board one day. But anyway, um, now music all throughout the season. Mm-hmm. So there's a, there's a good deal of space in there, right? Oh yeah. And um, mm-hmm. you have something called Justine's Kitchen. Mm-hmm. Is it uh, now? How does that work? Is that uh, wh- wh- why has it got a different name? Well, because Battlefield Brew Works and Distillery, which we are not brewing beer at this time. We do have beer. We have a um, rotating uh, tap system where we bring in PA, local PA craft beer. So every time you come, which most likely if you came weekly, you're going to have the same beers. Mm -hmm. But every now and again, you're going to come in and we brought in another beer. Now, how come you're not brewing now? um, Just decided to focus on the restaurant and on the distilled products. Okay. Um, So now is the distilled products, that's that's new, isn't it? Well, I've always done it. That's always been always been the primary focus because um like rye whiskey um yeah. it makes we've got barrels now some of them are i think we've got a 14 year old canadian rye in a barrel right now we've got some uh, our rye is eight um that we call it the smile because my owner likes fun names like smile. <laughs> <laughs> makes him um, smile but he has a bourbon it. he has a bourbon also that's in the barrel for five that's been in there for five years and every now and again he'll like open the open the barrel take a take some a couple gallons out and bottle that up and we just had open one i think a week or so ago and brought some of that out and and then we'll you know sell it sample it and let it sit longer but yeah we that's always been a primary for and we've won a lot of awards for the for the distilled products um uh like 16 medals in the past three years mm. four goals nice congratulations um, oh, and that's all up from the the finger lakes that's where we enter those contests and oh, all right that, so that's been the primary a beer and Pennsylvania is different because you have to have a license to brew and right. you have to have a license for distillery. So if you're one side of your building is you've got to register for one and then you another for, for oh, the other. Oh, you can't be both under the same license. Right. right that makes sense because they're different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so you have to have so you have two licenses. How it, hard is it to get two licenses for the same location? I don't think it's hard to get it. It's just hard to like all you it takes one mistake. Like yeah. your distillery and you ring out on the brewery. That's a mistake. Oh my God. So you've got to, you know, things like that. But it just ends up, this is, it may be not more cost effective to buy beer, buy the keg, um, make, make as much, you know, it's more expensive to buy it. 
than to make it, but yeah. it's easier and less headache. And right. the owner just was, um, he's, he, he's always done the distilled products and he loves that. And it's hard to get a brewer that wants to brew yeah. consistently when that's not something you do every single day. Right, right, right. You know, it's, yeah. it's not a something that they're, they're going to be consist- consistently doing that. And it's worked out in Justine's Kitchen is where this is the first time in maybe when it first opened, probably when they we had, had food we back had, then. We had a yeah. restaurant. Yeah. Um, and we've since then it's been like, you know, food trucks or Dickies yes, or different right. things come in. Well, now we have turned our down little snug area, we call it, into a full kitchen. So we are everything is made. Oh, to okay. Order. So it's all made it's there. All made, everything is made to order. Okay. They take you a little, you know, so if you order a burger, your burger's not going to go Because you got to go kill the cow, butcher it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Patty so that fresh. out. Yeah, everything's fresh made. Oh, wow. So you have to wait, you know, which some restaurants say they wait. It mm-hmm. might be frozen. Ours is not. Mm. Hmm. You know, and, and mm. so, it, and it's. So everything's made from scratch? Yeah, we have all, we have a lot of good comfort foods, but mm. we do have some bar foods. All from scratch. All from scratch. With like local ingredients, yeah. or yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's good. Like she goes in, and, and Justine, is, Justine is Justine. It's kitchen. It's her kitchen. Yeah, she's the general manager as well. Okay. And um, her and her husband are running that kitchen, and um, and every other little aspect. Of and this. where does she come from? So she's low. She's low from. Okay. Lo- she's the local area. Um, been here forever, but she um, moved over to the brewery. From Fairfield, oh, okay, but um, she's been in 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 the area for her whole life. So, so mm-hmm. you brought with you, which as soon as the door opened when we went to break, I could smell the deliciousness. And she made this all special today for you guys. Oh, awesome! And so, like before the show, I stopped at Sheets and I got a couple of cheese sticks so that I wasn't, you know, overly hungry. Um, but as soon so as I smelled the food, run you over <laughs> yeah, when you right. opened the door. As soon as I smelled the food, I got hungry again. So what have we got here? I see uh, you don't even know. You said right. Um, and I, I mean, I know what they are, but um, I mean, I know she. We have meatloaf. Okay. And we have some wings with a couple of our sauces that she makes. She makes these sauces herself. All right. Um, that would be the same thing. It's like when she make when you order wings. The sauce that we don't have like pre bottled sauce, it's made up. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. she throws the stuff together and her and her husband, they make stuff up. So every time it might be a little bit different, but yeah. I think she's got the peach bourbon pretty much down to an art. So, so let's crack some of this stuff open and see what we got. Bethany mm-hmm. loves wings. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> Bethany, has, is that a joke? There's, so there are she's bone afraid in, of bones. She's there are, we have some boneless. Yeah. Oh, so we brought there you both. Go. Boneless. So we brought both. And there's oh, nothing good. So there's nothing on them at this point. Okay, so grab have and then you got boneless. The, and then you got the sauces. She, don't like she won't go near the bone. Here. Go ahead. Cover grab a boneless. Get the boneless. There. Go ahead. And then you can Ooh, look out for the bone. <laughs> yeah, my get you. My owner the owner won't eat the boneless bone in either. He really? Like All right, I'm gonna try a boneless first. Oh no, wait, you got you got so sauces. You got, so here. I got a. this is a honey mustard, this is a honey hot barbecue, and then this is a peach bourbon. Okay, here. I'm gonna, they let's, smell really good. Let's put the we'll I'm put gonna the eat sauces. some of this without though, real quick to try it. Yeah, all right, let's try it. First, sans sauce. Crunchy and delicious. I'm sorry to all the people in the audience who have misophonia. Probably not real, real warm right now, but probably uh, the chicken's Even get cold. Even with not being like warm. super warm, it's really good. It is really good. And those wings look fantastic. Um, they're not breaded, which I like. Yeah. I don't like when people bread wings because then it gets really soggy with the sauce, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to take, you want to look away because she's, she's really, truly afraid of bones. It's okay. All right, what are the sauces we have here? So this is the peach bourbon. All right, I'm going to try that one, and I'm going to pull it over here. Just be careful of all the electronics. I definitely equipment. will. <laughs> and this honey, if you don't mind. And this That's is the peach bourbon. Yeah, and this is the yeah. honey mustard. Can I dip before you dip if you're going to do that? Yeah. Okay. Well, what are you doing? I have I have forks. No, it has. I mean, you don't, oh. you don't want him double dipping. There's the peach bourbon. Oh, you don't want the bone. You're oh, she's yeah. afraid of bone. Oh god, I got you. I got you. That's crazy. So you, all right. Um, guys, you want to try the wing? Or we'll wait until after the segment. They can and eat. And then this was the like. honey. This was a hot barbecue. Okay. With. And what, what was the, uh, this? Is really good. Let me let me dip into that one there, just a little oh, bit there. Now she's not gonna eat this. You know. Oh oh, I'm sorry. Ben. You messed up. 
Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's poor people at home have to watch us eat wings. But they're really good. I love these wings. Okay. Now I know That's not what I pulled this where to go when I want wings. Yeah, these are these boneless ones are really good. The boned ones oh, are really so good. This too. is a full meal here. Okay. What is the full so meal? So this is the honey mustard. Yeah. Oh, the honey mustard. I wanted to try that. It's really good. It's not like like sometimes you get a honey mustard and it's it tastes like one or more of the other. It's really, you know, really like, sweet. Yeah. yeah this, this is, is like a good combo. In other words, it's not craft honey mustard. No. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, there's oh like pepper in it. Yeah, it's a little spicy. Mm. Kind of the mouth noises on this oh episode. I know. I'm sorry, everybody at home that has love. problems with that. that is really, and those potatoes are really smooth. That yeah, is really those good. ones right there. <laughs> Taylor would be inside out right now. If she was listening. All those people that hate smacking are dying. I know. Right now. So the meatloaf I hate it too. I don't know why I do that to people. Has I'm a sorry. really different flavor. It almost tastes like there's a. It's seasoned. It's it's really yeah. good. Yeah. All right, it's, leave it. Leave some for the rest no! of us now. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Mm. See, I like the end crunchy. See, bits. me too. The crunchiness. Me too. Oh, and you know. Oh, wait. All right. There's none All right, left. You oh, All right, you I'm too. so sorry. I'm, here, I'm, I'm just I gonna see what's happening. <laughs> now, here. This is the last one I'm going to take of the meatloaf. That's really good. Yeah. Now, you guys are. What time are you open uh, until? So, right now we're you're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four to eight. Thursday, um, and, and starting April nineteenth, we're going to start opening at noon on Fridays, and then we'll go noon to eight. And then on sa and Saturdays we're noon to eight. So it's going to be hard. We do the show on Thursday. It's going to be hard to make this our new after show dinner place because you close on at eight on Thursday. You said. Yeah. What time do you? Well, no. We usually oh, no, end around eight. No, on Thursdays, um, because we have open mic, that will be we're open till nine, nine thirty. -ish. Okay. Because the music, the, they'll do six to nine. For is that the kitchen's open till nine nine thirty? Oh, the kitchen is there as long as somebody wants food. Probably the last. So they quit playing music around nine. What if we put in an order before we get there? Absolutely. Oh, and we do. Idea. You can order. You can order to pick up, or you can order DoorDash. We offer DoorDash as well. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we could have the food brought here. You could. Bethany, yeah. you're doing great. Yeah. And he's eating it and then leaving it in the tray. Wait Bethany. until you see. Wait until you see me eat the cartilage. You're stunning. Oh, oh that's disgusting. <laughs> Bethany, oh. you're stunning and brave. Okay. Was it something from childhood? No, I'm going to be in here crunching what, up. Was it something from childhood? <laughs> I don't even know. Was it something from childhood? Uh, Somebody gave you a bone. She has problems with bones. <laughs> Weird. I'm, someday I'll tell you the story. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Beth. All right. No need to torture her anymore with bones. I know. Please don't. Okay. okay. So... The one th oh Jesus okay so the one thing the food is all very good despite my reaction it's fantastic Guys, I'm she, so sorry I'm trying really really hard <laughs> but the um the next time bring a whole corn, roast of chicken the corn has a little bit of a something on it too which is really good and it's kind of I see I like corn. it when it's not oh there mushy. it is it's probably butter it's like uh, it's no there's something on it. Yeah, it's like, um, what is that? I don't know. Like vanilla almost. It's not vanilla, is but it's. A, is this the Oreo things? No. no. Oh, well, so what, yeah. So what's that now? There's, I see a okay, little. Okay, so uh, do you want to do, like, this is a. So um, here, let's do this. All right, let's put, Give the, put that on the table. Let them take it in the back okay. there and pig out like a bunch of uh, starving lions. I'm going to make sure to chew my cartilage into the microphone for you guys. I'm. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> so this also, and if you want to save, this was just a. Um, oh, my God. Mm. Look at that. It's a chicken sandwich. Mm. Can you show With it what to on the it? camera? Pull, it's chi like a... pull chicken sandwich barbecue. Uh, oh, Ooh. Ooh. okay. Ooh. Here we go. If you guys don't want any of that, you can put it right back here with me. I'll be a happy. Wow. Camper. It's a little messy around the equipment, so I'll leave it for you guys in the back there to try. Yeah. It looks really right. good. Yeah, that does look really good. It smells delicious, too, it? does smell it? delicious, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, so then, and this is the. Deep fried Oreos, and they of course would have been like oh my God. really delicious when they look at that started. here. Let me show the uh, camera that one too. We do Twinkies also. Ooh, 
Mm-hmm. It was just a disaster. I was like, quit, quit making all these sweets. They're so delicious. Yeah. You know, you can deep fry just about anything and it really makes can. it better. You really can. Absolutely. So what is <clears throat> what is the best way to eat this? Here, give is this it to everybody in the put, back. Too. Pop the whole thing in your mouth and go to town. Like at one time? Yeah. Ooh, you can take this. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Come on, Bethany. So All right, there's no bones Look at that. that, I promise. Take a deep breath as you're putting it in your mouth so you choke on the mm. confectioner <laughs> sugar. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm going to do bites. No, I'm, take, I'm, I'm doing the whole, the, camera. Camera. the whole thing. Oh, goodness. The whole thing. You just got to mm. go for it, Bethany. Oh, my God. Oh, this is... I'm, all right. I'm done with keto. She did it. I'm back to eating everything else. It's got a bone in it, too. Stop. <laughs> so mean. I know. Bethany. Bethany, you're doing great. Holy mm. crap, that's so good. And there's mm-hmm. only three left. Damn it. That's one for each of you. Yeah. Oh, boy. Perfect. Oh, that is so good. You sound like so, Doc Holliday in there. Oh. Oh, okay, so this we brought for, and you got little souvenir glasses. I got too. one for the both of you. One for the each of you. Each so of this you? is, um, so, you know, like if you go to like Jamaica, some of those other co- so countries that have, they make a Jamaican like rum cream or whatever. Well, we make um, our own. It's, it's. Bourbon cream, Ooh. and we call it better than Bailey's. Okay, no. and no, Sounds no, it. we're not. It's not like Bailey's. We spell ours I E S. So okay, all right. Don't get Back to the Oreo, gotcha. real quick. Yeah. So I am a. I'm not a big sweets person, right? That was really freaking good. Like you know how like yeah like if you get something in too sweet and it's too much. Yep. That was not. That was yeah. like I could have another one. No, it really was. <laughs> no, right? Well, because it's it's like breaded yeah. and then fried. It's like a um well, it's a like funnel a, cake almost, with yeah, an they make the like yeah, they make a funnel, a, that's what yeah, it reminds me of. Kind of yes. make they make up a a, a batter. A batter and you know. Oh, that was good. And then dip those. And they that use the same good. stuff for like a um for the Twinkies as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys in the back, you better come out and take your food cuz we're going to just take it back in and eat it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to try the Better Than Bailey's. And right? we call this a, uh, this is like dessert. You can get this over ice. We make drinks with this. Um, All right, well, here, to the success, the continued, wait, we're going to cheers to you. Oh, well, I wasn't. To the continued success of the Battlefield yes, Brew Works. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Do you drink it all at once? You can, or you can sip. I'm I did. Sip. Oh. Oh. It's creamy and delicious. Is it milky? Mm. It is. Yeah. It, yeah it's, there you go. That's dangerous, guys. Oh, man. I don't even drink, and this is dangerous. Oh, I'm going to really yeah, start help drinking <laughs> more. <laughs> Can we forget the keto thing and just start <laughs> eating like pigs again? This is really good. This is really good. Wow. It is better than Bailey's. I'm not, And I'm not saying that because you're my guest. Right, right. It really is better than Bailey's. It's smoother, right, Colby? Oh. As soon as it hits the lips. <laughs> so good. Gonna get the milk stash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Here's this one. Mm. Oh my God. Can I have another a little bit more of that? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. So it's um it's basically it's a, a cream. Yeah. And and then he he has our our bourbon yeah, in it. Take a little bourbon and what else? There's something else in there yeah, that's like. A, like a, sure. I think and it's we, the same thing you put on the corn. <laughs> probably the it's probably the rye whiskey. Ask her what's on the corn. Look, I said, can I have a... And she gave me a... And also, well, that's an now Alabama we, little. We also do this um, uh, caramel flavored. Okay. Oh, my God. That would be... So you can get this shit. in the caramel. And we do sell <laughs> And we do sell by the bottle. <laughs> we do sell it by the bottle. We shouldn't get food anymore. Uh, if this is how this is going to be. Yeah. Diet schmite. Well, Cindy's the one who has asked and I don't want to bring anything. because well, I told her. I said, they better come with samples. <laughs> Because we're starving by the time we do the show. Yeah, so it is dinner time. Yeah. I do have a question about. Yeah. I'm gonna just sit here and make love to this <laughs> bourbon. So I do have a question about the the kitchen and everything. So mm-hmm. this is a new venture for you guys, right? Um, so what made you decide to go down that road all of a sudden? Because you did have vendors before, right? And then second, Lee, why? Like, what was it about her food that drew you to her? Uh, well, been wanting to do the food when she mm-hmm. came on. La- I think last February, I believe it was always like she she wanted to do a, a restaurant. She had been in that business before, and oh, okay. so she had kind of like um, approached the owner, uh, Paul Limley is our owner, approached him about doing the restaurant and just kind of threw out. Started the menu started small and it's grown, um, so it it's not nearly. 
um, and and we just all kind of trusted her to like she would she you know she used us as dummies we tra- you know oh my sample God. what and, a great job and um and we say so this is um and I'm gonna leave y'all a menu <gasps> it's a pretty yeah. extensive we'll menu definitely be calling and ordering ahead now yeah and then we do this is not great <gasps> print ham and bean soup oh yeah she makes oh I, I was gonna bring you chili too she makes we call it black and tan mm. so we use a stout beer mm-hmm. and on. she puts that in the chili. Mm. And it is amazing. This really? is probably one of, that's, this is one of my favorite things in there. Now, and, and you uh, get cult. We also do bread bowls. Uh huh. So you could get like um, you can't get the ham and bean in a bread bowl because that would be, you know, that would ruin the. the it would get mushy. But we, you can do chili in a bread bowl. You can do anything in a bread bowl. Like, you can do magic. Yeah, but she also does doubles. Um, we have double bread bowls, like du- bread bowl for two. Mm. So, so that's an awesome idea. Yeah, so we do huge. that. But this is like a, and then there's a some of our our signature cocktails. And right now, this is what we have. Oh, aww. And right now, this is some of our drinks. So that's good. That she, the beers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because nobody's here. Uh, those are the yeah. those are the days when people aren't here. Last but, summer, but, we really did have a decline in visitation. I think so. Days. Yes. Yeah. yeah that was so. bad last year. But we're we're slowly um, and like just doing this, but s- slowly, um, our we we've noticed more people coming in. We've really like marketed to um, the fire academy and and those kind of places. You know, just trying to get people to know about us because uh, like the people that are doing we I met with earlier today about go yoga the guy said he's lived here his entire life and had stopped r- drove a school bus and everything but he had never been inside the building I mean so many people have lived yeah. and they go I didn't even know you were here yeah or, well it is I didn't have never been in it's set back off the off the main roads there so I could I can understand why they might I mean, not go right, down that a big road sign out front oh I know I've, I've noticed it for years uh, and I've been in there um, so the so here's a little so you know I hear from a lot of people that listen to the show and everything right mm-hmm. and the number one complaint was the beer no 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 <laughs> no not about you guys no oh. about Gettysburg is that no one is open past nine o'clock it's the it's, it's the bane of our existence it's the bane of our existence but oh. you know what it you know what though the people who the few people who are open past nine are roll are rolling in the dough because. The people are like, oh, well, this is the only place to go to. I'm saying you got to stay open later. I know, but got to create a this night. Is, too, it's like, um, well, I guess because I go like a lot of the people who like go out to dinner are that we, we, we really want to fo- like get people to come to dinner. Mm-hmm, Nobody, sure. Not a lot of people are going to eat dinner at nine o'clock. Well, I mean, I we will. I have <laughs> I, and I have too. Yeah. 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 I get home from work and I'm ready to eat. But, um, <clears> you know, with music, when we do have music, we will stay open later when we have music. Sure. I mean, we've. Um, but no, like, but see, here's the thing. People are on vacation. True. So they, they don't eat dinner at five or six like they might at home because they have no schedule. True. They're, they're you know, they're on vacation. So they would eat at eight or nine because maybe they're, they're you know, especially in the summertime when it's light, mm-hmm. late, they're out doing stuff when it's light, you know? Right. So maybe they're like, I oh, will eat later at eight o'clock, nine o'clock. And then they're like, no everything's closed. Even McDonald's. Yeah, I know. I know. So Even they got to Mc- go to Sheets. <laughs> I, it's or, you know, or we got a new place now, whatever. Yeah, new, what new place? Yeah, that new chicken out by um out Royal chicken. Farms. Oh, Royal Farms. Rofo. Yeah, yeah. yeah Rofo. fantastic. We love you know, everybody. Does. <laughs> Fried chicken is the best in the world. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm telling you, but I get it. I, I do try it. Just try it. You know, in the in the peak months, like well, like when we had um a St. Patrick's Day, for instance, we had a band in and they played till we had them scheduled to play till nine. They stayed later. We so we were open way later and people were saying even the band said oh i want to order food because you know i know your kitchen's going to close no we we kept we keep that yeah, kitchen sure. open yeah. as long as you're here you want food you know we'll we'll keep it open until you know because you know we say hang out drink a little bit we're cleaning yeah we don't mind you sitting and if you want to drink we we are not gonna when we're done and you're done drinking yeah then we'll leave yeah that's the way it should go and People, so when the word spreads about that, it's like, no, they stay open as long as we're willing to eat and drink. You Call know. and say, I'm coming. Call and say, are you still open? Call and say. See, what you guys should do, is, you should then, advertise on the show and you should say, we're open late and make that the selling point is we're open late and people Not will just make, a drive through. Yeah, right. No, not just a drive through. I mean, honestly, like that's, pe- there's a few people that do it and, and they're well, hopefully packed. Hopefully my, my owner's probably listening. I'm sure. Tell I him, hope so. Tell him. I hope so. Thanks. And even if that means you open late, 
The the key oh, yeah, is yeah. stay open late. Not it doesn't matter when you open. It's when you close. That's the problem yeah. that people have. And it's not. I haven't heard anything specifically negative about you guys. I'm just saying in general in the town, yeah. that's the big gripe everybody has. I I get it. I mean, yeah. I got off work before and like even just ran through McDonald's and they say, "Are you DoorDash?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> well, then. Then we're, we're closed. closed. Yeah, it's so weird. And I was yeah. like, it's eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, okay, well, Did I'm DoorDash then. I'm DoorDash. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I decided today to work Just wanted some french fries. Just wanted some fries. <laughs> so what, they wouldn't serve you if you weren't DoorDash? That's what they said. They were closed. At a drive-thru. At a drive-thru. That's so stupid. That's so mean. It's mean. Yeah. Do you want me to go tell them? You should. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Like McDonald's mm-hmm. would really care. They, they don't care. They don't People care when I talk. I bet they do. Well, and the McDonald's is locally owned. It's not a, you know. Oh, yes. I'm sure yeah. someone local owns that franchise. It's a franchise, yeah. There is a fire in my belly. From the alcohol? Yeah. Eat more um, chicken wings. Or potatoes. Eat like, the potatoes. Uh, you know, I don't drink very often. I know. Can we get some, uh, Bethany some potatoes in here so she doesn't <laughs> die of a burning belly? It's gone. Oh, it's gone. Or anything. Anything. Uh, meatloaf. No, no, no. Oh, because I got the pepper on it. So it's, what? It's just like. Do you want some water? It's a warm no. and fuzzy. It's, it's a, warm, a warm, and warm and fuzzy. Oh, you're yeah. starting to feel it. Well, this is yeah. good then. This is going to be well, a it fun is, new it is, segment. Um, <laughs> it, it is a... Uh, it, it is a... Uh, Alcohol. It's strong. Yeah, I think it's like 13 point. Oh, yeah? The, no, uh, this is good volume, stuff. Yeah. This is good stuff. Yeah, so the thing... Like some of the things too, other, like the... I was mentioning the, the liquors and stuff. So we do make our own vodka, gin... Those kind of things are whiskey, bourbon, but we also have like the, this is new for us. Um, but we just started carrying wine, and we're doing mm-hmm. the three, um, three, three, seven, five mils, so the smaller bottles. Mm-hmm. Um, and we get those from Mark and Val's down in York. Okay. Um, so nice. we're carrying a, a you know a red and white wine, and then we've got like a mango flavored wine because we have a lot of mango. people ask for wine. That's interesting, mango flavor uh, yeah, from a, Herb a, Ertlinger's uh, fruit yeah, wines. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Herbert Linger, Herbert Linger, it's from Shit's Creek. Yes, yeah. Oh, Sorry, Shit's that. Creek. That's yeah. a great show. Um. Okay. So the address of the place is two forty eight Hunterstown Road. Mm-hmm. So, folks, when you're going out to see the Hunterstown Battlefield on your way back into town, stop and get some lunch. There you go. That's a right? great idea. Stop and have a beer. <laughs> if you're staying in any of the hotels on Route Thirty, it's right there. It's yeah, not right, far. Right, right down from, um, you know, the Hampton Inn, yeah. Walmart. Yeah. We're, we're All little, those places can easily get off, to That little cutoff road, yeah. That, that weird angled road right by the yeah. railroad tracks. And if you're a nerd, it is a historical case. It's, oh, histor- it's a little something for everybody. It's actually, it's it's a very beautiful, it's a beautiful building when you get mm-hmm. in there. It's, uh, it's, it is a beautiful building. And there's a lot of, I, I mean, I mean, it's just, it's stone and wood it's just a cool old yeah. barn i mean we all love that you stuff go on youtube and check out some of the yeah. paranormal activity that's oh been done there, there we go yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> been a lot there yeah, well sure um, it has well when you drink spirits like that i'm sure you're gonna sure. see other spirits right even mark <laughs> I'm now, starting my to husband see ghosts. is uh notoriously not easy to please when it comes to food and oh. things like that and he was like because we ended up going there to eat but mark went in to get it because i was waiting in the car with our son and he go he comes out and he goes that's a pretty cool place in there and that's a high compliment from so you say so you order to pick up yeah mm-hmm. we do have that happen a lot of people some i mean a lot of people don't want for some reason don't want to do doordash i guess they don't want to pay it mm-hmm. or whatever or if they're close they'll just scoot by and pick it up mark has n- still not eaten in a restaurant oh really mm-hmm since COVID. Really? Mm-hmm. Is he afraid of getting COVID? I have no idea what his problem is. He was living it's probably his best just his excuse to COVID. not spend the money. Well, he still eats the food. By the way, you know how they used to say it's cheaper to eat at home? That it's is not, not true. anymore. Mm-hmm. Well, I've, I've done the math. The yeah, Just for the ingredients true. on a meal, for me and Cindy, I'm spending like 80 bucks. And then I go to a restaurant for the same thing. It's thirty bucks. Trying to eat healthy is very expensive. Trying to eat healthy is ridiculously it's expensive. Crazy. I mean, it, it, the you know, like flowers, eight hundred percent up right now. Yeah, the price of flowers. Yeah. Cereal is I'm glad insane. we don't eat. I don't we eat don't cereal. eat. We don't eat cereal. But I priced cereal the other day. I said it's ridiculous. I'm ready cereal. to go back to ramen noodles. To have be honest you, with you, have Hamburger you healthy. eaten? Amber, this healthy. is one of the healthy things that Matt and Cindy introduced me to: the chicken chips. Oh I have not. yes. 
no. wild chicken chips. Uh, they're protein chips. Um, wild is the brand. W I L D E. You can get them in like the health food section at Giant. They're a little pricier, but they're bigger. Ba- they're like right. this big instead of like the little snack. Fan. They're I think they're fantastic. You just go through and like you remember bananas used to be cheap. Bananas. I remember cheap. everything used to be cheap. <laughs> yeah, nothing's cheap anymore. No. Yeah, I, I, everything probably is. It's you can save money by eating out unless you're going to like Five Guys or something. Yeah, well, because right, because every time you customize stuff, it's more. Well, it's a twenty-four dollar hamburger now, I guess. Is it really? I haven't gone to Five Guys. Somebody in a said long I, time. the last time I went, there was three of us, and it was seventy-five dollars. I don't doubt that. That's I don't doubt that even a little bit. And we got single burgers. You didn't even get that you with all the toppings. Yeah, we got every, you know just your standard lettuce, tomato, onion. Blah, and did you get fries and w- shared fries. Shared fries because mm-hmm. they give you a lot of fries. Two drinks yeah, and a milk. Worth two drinks and a milkshake. It was seventy five dollars. Well, the See? milkshake right there is fifty bucks. That's what I said. Yeah. yeah. Did you? Did you ever but have? Even it? Pop <laughs> have now with... is almost like four dollars. A... Oh, that's so stupid. Like fountain soda. Yeah. Oh my god. But if is you look really? like so, our menu, our food is not. I mean, you can get a full meal. That like. Um, yeah, the prices were good. Very reasonable. Like, like, what is it? Fourteen ninety five, or yeah, so our the, entrees at the um the dinner. There you go, fifteen ninety five. Yeah, you get homemade meatloaf, meat lasagna, two barbecue cheddar chicken breasts I'm with you with what, with two sides. I'm with, going to get that meatloaf with Taylor. Yeah, I, it's so good. good. The Honestly, is really good. I, I'll be honest with you, because Cindy said that you're bringing meatloaf, and I was like, I hate meatloaf. People are strange. It's a, it, it, I'm hit or miss with meatloaf too. Two reasons: my mom, God bless her, never made it well, and she put ketchup on top of it. I hated that. Okay, I hate it. I just never had the heart to tell her. But well, she was she so proud. She knows now. She knows now. <laughs> she but you know, meatloaf to the is show. Good, but meatloaf is also good leftover. Sorry, you make a meatloaf Cowering. sandwich. I, I never I never ate it leftover because it, it, it took everything I had to eat it fresh. Oh, I, a piece I, of white bread. Just uh-huh. another thing, I guess. White there was with just, mustard on it. Ooh, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do mustard but on it. But also, that's my the two thing. words, meat and Hottest loaf, cheese. don't belong together. Just oh, like Well, you know, that's what they always say. Don't let your... Meat loaf. <laughs> <laughs> It's my husband's favorite thing. He always says that. We play the game like <laughs> the, 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 where you pick the words and somebody goes, don't let her. And he goes, meatloaf. <laughs> How would you know that? Men know that. I, well, because we were talking about meatloaf. Like, what do you want from me? I don't know. I figured it out. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? <laughs> Come on. Hey, what do you, uh, no oh, respect. I've had too much caffeine. <laughs> oh, I've had too much of that whiskey. All right. And then uh, wings here. Uh, if you like wings, half a dozen, a dozen, a dozen, eleven ninety five for boneless. Um, bone in fifteen ninety five. That's cheaper than a and lot of And actually, because they're smaller, we do add more. That we just say on the menu. So you call it a dozen. It's a. It's yeah, a, we'll do a baker's dozen. It's a brewer's dozen. Sure, we'll call Absolute. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then um, you got house made ginger ale, house made root oh, beer yeah. for the kids. So you got homemade uh, sodies, and then uh, burgers, salads, salads, uh, gr- uh, ten thirteen ninety five. Not a ton of money. Add chicken, three bucks. Everywhere else you go, add chicken. It's like six ninety five. Add shrimp. It's like nine dollars. Yeah, here salad, it's six dollars and, salads, and three dollars. And the salads are, I mean, it, my, almost every time anybody's ever gotten one and never had one there before, they go, "What?" Because it's a huge salad. Yeah. You know, we're not we're we're not skimpy on the food. That's nice. Do you do here? Can I? Yeah. Enjoy. The wings. Doing so, some thinking and you get, we have dry, no, we, 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 we do have the dry dry rubs as well. Yeah, okay. now you can get them already. Like we were, we would toss them. Normally, we would toss the wings, either in the dry rub or the wet rub. But we don't. But today, I just brought them. So oh, I like them, them the way you brought so them. So you can try them yeah, different. I always get them plain. Yeah, I don't like sauce on my hands. <laughs> I, it's it's like a weird thing I have. Um, it's not a girly thing. Uh, I know other so guys like that. Do you? Have you seen, have you ever tried the peanut butter and jelly topping on wings? I have not. See, now we, that's we, a huge thing up home. Mm, yeah, well, where, where's up? Where's, home? Like where's, your, where's home? Clarion. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like something that would be big up there. It's a huge thing. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, it sounds wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Peanut butter and jelly wings. Yeah. Well, peanut butter and jelly, any. I mean, I love peanut butter. Really? Yeah. Peanut butter wings. Because, you know, like chicken and peanut sauce, like you get it like yeah. Thai or Chinese or whatever it is that has it. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Huh? Didn't you have it on a burger? Peanut butter? Oh, I had peanut butter on a burger. That was really good. Yes. Yes. There was a burger place that had peanut butter on it. That was good. 
I don't think I want that. I don't even. I don't even want an egg on my burger. I know a lot of places. Oh do the egg. yeah, yeah. I, I, I can never taste the egg on the burger. You know what else is but good? You can see it. They said what? What? I you can know. see it. You you know when you put an onion on it, sometimes the skin of the onion is mm. hanging off there. You can see that, and I still eat it. I think it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like you know it's the skin of an onion. It's gross. Um, all right, so uh, <laughs> we all have something, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I mean, Lord. I'm not deathly afraid of it. I'll still eat it. She has to leave the room when she sees a bone. I hate seeing feathers on a chicken wing. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, fried feathers. Mm -hmm. That's rough. That's rough. <laughs> that is gross. Oh God, do you have any more of that, Bellies? Better than Bellies? Yeah, there's a little left. <laughs> Let me get one a little bit more of that. That's hmm? pretty good there, if you don't Top, mind. Not Top at all. Off. Yeah. You want to just empty it? Oh Whoa. sure. All right. Okay, it's not that much. That's that southern is. hospitality, yeah. right? There. Thank you yeah. very much. You're Holy but Jesus, I'm doing the news Here's to by myself. You're not. He's, later. he's not driving a jeep home tonight. Mm -mm. He might get ducked. No, I'm riding on the roof. All right. So again, the uh, address: two forty eight Hunterstown Road in Gettysburg. Restaurant, brewery, distillery, pub located in Restored Barn, Confederate Field Hospital. Thirteen hundred soldiers were taken to the property. Uh so much born, uh, not born, built in uh, 1848. It's really born a nice place. Born. If you Paper. haven't been there, you really do need to go. It's it is a nice place, and and now uh, we have more of an excuse to get out there more often. And um, yeah, now that we know we can call ahead, right? We will call ahead, place yes. an order, and we will come out to dinner there. And uh, yeah, everybody just follow on Facebook. That's where yeah. all the events will be. Everything's on there, including the menu, all that, and and, and Google. Maybe we'll have to do some of our events there. Maybe you should. Yeah. Come do one of your podcasts. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. That'd right. be a great historical thing. Yeah, yeah. It would. We should it, have absolutely. a guide and come and do history. Oh, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we could do, we could do, so I got some ideas. We'll do some yeah, stuff. We we'll do some that. stuff. We'll talk about I some stuff. Yeah. We'll talk about some stuff. Because we'll we, we did do um, Civil War during the fall. We had uh, the, where we did Civil War trivia. Okay. Um, and we did it like a contest, and at the end, yeah. you know, we did this big thing. We so. had a very successful trivia night up at the seminary. I don't know if I'd call it successful. <laughs> well, I don't mean the address in Gettysburg Today team mm. had it. They almost had us. They almost we won. Were successful, but, but then judging, they boneheadedly the threw it away on the last uh, mm. the last question. But uh, everybody else, the whole event overall was, was very fun. successful. Yeah. And I think the key is... Uh, BYOB because we all did and yeah. everybody was <laughs> was a little yeah a little, you tend was, to do a little more when you I'm lit up I'm not gonna lie I was feeling it man. yeah I, yeah I did not have anything to drink that's just how I normally well somebody am. had to be sober then it was her that's and just how I normally am well that's yeah. okay I, no we I don't need really, you I, don't like I was the one dancing right nobody else was dancing well Jane she remembers was. everything no, too there was a whole i have a picture of you guys dancing I think even my, six I, questions yeah, lens was dancing, dancing yeah is, oh yeah i forgot about six one questions. of my yes. favorite things i think i've ever seen uh that was one of the happiest moments of my life to be honest with you and he didn't hurt himself <laughs> no the weird thing is he was dancing to this song wait sorry no he wasn't yes he was i thought he was dancing to kazoo no it was this song I was like, why, 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 first of all, why am I playing Dixieland music? And why is uh, Mike dancing to it? But he loved it. As soon as he heard it, he jumped up on his feet. And then you guys all followed him. That is fun music. Though. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, have you ever been to New Orleans? It's <laughs> no, great. I'd love to go. No, I wouldn't. Ooh, no, you I, would. I, I, when I was younger, I would have loved to have gone. Going but now I, I can't stand being around people. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I would have never known. <laughs> That's why he's in this booth. Yeah, exactly. That's why there's this huge table, but I'm walled in here because I don't want to be near people. I love people, but I don't like being around them. It's a weird life yeah. that yeah. I've been living. All right, listen, we're going to uh, take a break. I, I thank you very much. Bab Small, ladies and gentlemen, stop by over at uh, Battlefield Brew Works. Say hi. T test everything out. Uh, not test everything out. What am I saying? Eat, drink, and be <laughs> merry over there. And we're going to... We're going to uh, take a break. We'll be right back. Thank Thanks, you. Babs. Thank you. Been craving a Hot Pocket or a bag of popcorn? Now's the time to go and get it. You've got five to eight minutes, so don't be late. We'll be right back. Who can forget?
forget the sounds of the 60s. The 1860s. I can't and you can't either. Now, there's Marching Through Georgia, the exciting new album by Billy Webster. All of your favorite hits of the 1860s in one place. Such hits as Gary Owens. The Battle Hymn of the Republic. Quiet along the Potomac tonight. Marching through Georgia. And much, much more. So what are you waiting for? Go to billysongs.com and order your digital download of Billy Webster's Marching Through Georgia today. That's billysongs.com. Seminary Ridge Museum and Education Center, Gettysburg's premier museum, is housed in the historic Lutheran Seminary building constructed in 1832, a witness to the first day of battle. The museum's three floors of exhibits connect visitors to the dilemmas that led to the Civil War, provide a powerful and personal view of the battle's first day, and explore one of the battlefield's largest hospitals. No visit to Seminary Ridge Museum and Education Center is complete without a guided tour of the building's famous cupola, where on the eve of battle, officers and civilians saw thousands of Confederate soldiers' campfires burning to the west, and Brigadier General John Buford watched for vital federal reinforcements as fighting erupted on the morning of July 1st. Today, you can stand where Buford stood and discover how this view helped chart the course of the Battle of Gettysburg. Your trip to Gettysburg is not complete without a serious visit to Seminary Ridge Museum and Education Center, Gettysburg's premier museum. Purchase tickets online at seminaryridgemuseum.org or call 717-339-1300. To get tickets or a cupola tour, listeners may call Call or walk in and mention address in Gettysburg or by ordering online using the promo code AG1863 for 20% off. Seminary Ridge Museum and Education Center. It began here. There's a devil to pay. If you're a lover of history, then go to trhistorical.com. There you'll find apparel, drinkware, decor, and more featuring a wide range of interests from the ancient world to the Cold War. Looking to make an impression with the perfect gift? Well, TR Historical now offers gift cards and a vintage wrapping service for a truly unique presentation. And our listeners will receive 10% off plus free shipping in the U.S. when you use promo code GBERG1863. So go to trhistorical.com, trhistorical, for the love of history. Think outside the bus and let family-owned Gettys Bike Tours take you on a cycling journey across the picturesque and historic Gettysburg battlefield. There's no better way than by bicycle to gain a feel for the terrain of the battlefield. Slow enough to see it all, yet fast enough to do it all. Follow the route of Union troops entering the fray as you ride to the site of the first shots of this epic three-day battle. Feel the drama as you put yourself in the position of a Confederate soldier just before he steps off to make Pickett's charge. Take a stand with the heroic Colonel Chan Chamberlain on the slopes of Little Round Top, just before you view the fields of honor beneath you from its summit. All of our guides are officially licensed by the National Park Service. So don't get a sore neck trying to see out of your car and saddle up with Getty's Bike Tours for a 360 degree view of America's most important piece of real estate. Getty's Bike Tours. Think outside the bus. Go to Getty'sBike.com or call 717-752-7752 to book a battlefield experience you will never forget. You've heard us promote various ways that you can help us keep the show going, but one way we haven't pushed too much is our sutlery at AddressingGettysburg.com slash shop. That's a shame because we have designs over there by talented artists like Ty DeWitt of 1863 Designs and Mike Stretch of the Heritage Depot. So now we're promoting it. Buying shirts, hoodies, mugs, and other items from our sutlery not only helps us keep the lights on, but it also helps guys like Ty and Mike, and it helps spread the word about the show every time you wear an item or you sip from your mug. So head over to AddressingGettysburg.com slash shop and grab some merch. It's the perfect Christmas gift for the Gettys nerd in your family. That's AddressingGettysburg.com slash shop. 
Our favorite bookstore in Gettysburg is For the Historian, located at 42 York Street. It's because they have the best selection of Civil War books in Gettysburg, both new and used. And online, they have even more to choose from. And if the Civil War isn't your thing, that's not a problem. This is for the historian, after all. They cover history from the ancient world to the 21st century with a strong selection of World War II and American Revolution books. It's astounding how many thousands of titles from Osprey, Savas Beatty, UNC Press, and more they have in their store. And that's because, well, they have a warehouse too. And that's where they keep all the books that are available online at forthehistorian.com. And folks, if you go to forthehistorian.com now and order books until you're blue in the face, be sure you mention that you heard about them on Address in Gettysburg in the note to seller box, and they will refund your shipping costs. And if you prefer to stop by when you're in town, well, you could do that too. Just mention Address in Gettysburg at checkout, and they'll take 20% off the retail price of your item. So go to ForTheHistorian.com, stop by 42 York Street, or you can call them at 717-685-5207. That's ForTheHistorian.com or 717-685-5207. You're listening to Addressing Gettysburg. Was that a ghost? Nah, ghosts aren't real. You're back with Addressing Gettysburg today. Now here's Matt. Uh, um, we're back. Um, I'll tell you what, the better than Bailey's. Pretty damn good, folks, I'll tell you. You got to get over there and check that out at Battlefield Brew Works. Um, so a couple things. If we can uh, pick up the paper here. <laughs> Let me just get to uh, the right page. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. Where did I write this down here? Uh, oh, all right, yeah. Oh, we'll get to that during the news. So uh, a couple things. I want to read you some listener emails, if you don't mind. Yeah, go okay. for it. Thank Love it, listener emails. I do, too, and these are particularly good. Um, and I want to thank the people for writing them, so I'm going to read them, and here we go. <laughs> Timothy Day says, Over the weekend, I was listening to the Chris Gwynn Park Update podcast and was struck. By the way, People who might be considering advertising on the show, right? Mm -hmm. The Chris Gwynn Park Update podcast came out a month or two ago. Yeah. But just to show you, people don't always listen right away. Yeah. So, you know, there's a reason why when you advertise on a podcast, it's like a year contract because it's a slow burn. It's repetition. And sometimes... If you if people binge after months of not listening, so mm -hmm. that everybody has listening different different listening habits. Anyway, over the weekend I was listening to the Chris Gwynn Park Update podcast and was struck by one of the items he spoke about with you. Chris mentioned an upcoming day when they turn the lights sounds down to accommodate folks with disability mm -hmm. sensitivities and those on the autism spectrum. Up until about 10 years ago, I wandered through life pretty oblivious to those folks that were not able to enjoy things as I was able to. Not that I was a douche about it, <laughs> <laughs> but just not as aware as maybe I should have been. The park, I'm sorry, the actions the park is taking as well as podcasts like your PTSD one are greatly helping this awareness for knuckleheads like me. One of the things that I have discovered is that there are not near enough discussion activities and resources for what is a huge amount of folks who are affected. The other part of this situation is that there is a great difficulty in getting attention or services for this broad swath of humanity. Thank goodness that we have at least begun discussing PTSD in all forms. Anyways, good job on bringing to light uh, uh, this situation. These uh, hidden aspects of people's lives need our recognition and awareness. I guess it's just part of trying to be nicer overall. Thanks for reading. Just uh, let me know when you're uh, in business mode. Oh, yeah, because Tim's talking to me about some business ideas and, and everything like that. So thank you very much for that, Tim. Uh, this is from Mark with a C. Mark says, I cannot thank you for enough for all you do. You're an inspiration and truly understand the meaning of the sacrifice of all the people who served and our obligation to those who never had the opportunities we had. I became a patron because of your incredible content and the knowledge you disseminate is unlike any other podcast to and I have two, oh, meaning like also, okay, he missed a no. Uh, and I have uh, listened to many. 
I uh, do not know how to increase your followers, but I wish you the very best, and I am glad to have the privilege to communicate with you. You're an inspiration to thank you. Uh, your uh, P.S. Your contribution to the Gettysburg community and your service to keep the memory of the sacrifices of those so long ago <laughs> is invaluable. You are a true educator. I'm in my 60s and I hope to one day get back to Gettysburg and have the honor to meet you. That's very nice of you, Mark. Uh, the honor is all mine. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, addressing Gettysburg, says this other one. I've been listening to your podcast every day while delivering mail in Jenkintown, PA. Today, I was listening to this one, Debbie. Debbie, listen. Debbie, you there? You back there? Okay, listen, Deb. Deb, listen. I'm listening. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hello, Jesse Gettysburg. I've been listening to your podcast every day while delivering mail in Jenkintown, Pennsylvania. Is it Jenkintown or is it Jenkinstown? And he just forgot the S. Nobody knows. Today, I was listening to an episode from January 25th, 2021, Gettysburg House Histories with Kendra DeBaney, and I heard Matt describe the home he was living in at the time on Water Street and realized that I lived at that same address from 2007 until 2016. Nice. It was fun hearing Matt describe the inside, especially the pocket doors. Thanks for the mem memories, and thank you for your podcast, Jim. <laughs> uh, so there you go, Debbie. Debbie's, Debbie took that over from me, um, so that's that's why I called her into that there. Okay, now this one. Uh, where where we go here? This is a long one, so bear with me, but we'll get through it together and uh, and whatnot. Here we go. This is from Mike McCrum. He says, hello, Matt. Now, by the way, just so you know, when you become a patron and I see it at some point within the week after you joining, I will go and I will send you uh, a personalized email thanking you and asking you, you know, how you found us and what made you decide to become a patron. That's okay. very sweet. So that's what these people are responding to. Uh, hello, Matt. I didn't reply immediately to your message because I figured that I have a lot to say, you sick son of a bitch. <laughs> and I wanted to give it some thought. So if you were seeking a pithy response, this isn't it. All. My route to finding you goes through Tim Smith, as I recall. I'm a big fan of his, and I was searching for YouTube videos featuring Tim. I happened upon an Ask a Guide video featuring Tim, and from there I found the free feed on Spotify. After I consumed the wealth of information there, I listened to it again. And again! Eventually, my brain caught up to the fact that I could join your Patreon and get much, <laughs> much more. It's actually a very nice email, so I'm, I'm reading it like it's mean. Primarily, <laughs> I, we got that. We picked okay. up on it. Yeah. Primarily, I joined because what you are doing is the single best resource for discovering everything about Gettysburg. In addition, your Patreon is absolutely loaded with quality material. This is opposed to the vast majority of Patreon hosts that really are just looking for a few bucks and offering very little in return. Oh. Believe me, I've been accused of only wanting to get the money and blah, blah, blah. Because I'm rolling in it, baby. Oh, I'm rolling in it. Oh, my God. We I'm not. That's sarcasm. <laughs> Remember that Matt had alcohol before this, everyone. Yeah, I'm just, just... telling the truth now. Uh, there are other good sources of information, particularly the podcast with Jim and Eric and their deep dives into various topics. However, wait, I didn't read this part. Okay, he's just saying that we're just different. Okay, that's all. I'm not. Gonna, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. You know. Uh, I also great. Oh, wait, sorry, folks. You don't want to see my beautiful face. Um, I also greatly appreciate that maybe only half your content is about the various facets of the battle. I really enjoy the focus on the town, the people who are involved peripherally in the battle, and topics that involve the Civil War as a whole. Also, more little bighorn, please. I love the Ask a Guide shows. But I equally enjoy the huge variety of uh, other guests that you have. Most podcasts take the form of a formal interview, which can be educational, but not particularly entertaining. You manage to weave the, uh, a tapestry of information, humor, and personal experiences that is both educational and entertaining. One of my favorite subscriber pod, uh, episodes so far is with Dave Wilson. Absolutely hysterical. That's like way back. I don't remember anything about that episode, but Dave is a funny guy. I also greatly appreciate that you would avoid talking about current political uh, situations because I seek to escape that bullshit. 
Uh, the vast majority of your guests also avoid it, uh, but there are a couple who like to interject their political thoughts, which I and I suspect others don't really appreciate. However, you are very skilled at steering them away from it and back to the topic at hand. All in all, you are an asshole, and what you have <laughs> created are absolute gems. Um I, I regret not becoming a patron sooner, but there isn't anything I can do about that. I will work to become a contributing member to the society. Mushy is a better word. Mushy. Mushy. Can, can I have to tell some bad news here? What happened? We lost the signal? No, I mean, I think we're still alive, but the mouse is not working. So our camera is stuck just on you. Oh, that's okay. Well, that's beautiful. <laughs> so even for Bethany's news, it's going to be a picture of Matt. Totally cool. Not a problem. Oh, totally. Oh, fine. wait a wait, minute. Wait, what? Uh, it's working. Did no. you do oh, something? I, no, but I don't see. Now I'm going to change. I'm going to switch it. Oh, there ah. we go. Ah, there's, ah. I have no there's everybody's clue. smiling. I've been face. back here shaking the mouse for five minutes straight. I just now. changed the battery on the mouse. And it wasn't moving. But I now it is. I just changed the battery on the mouse. I don't know why I, I didn't sing that. Yeah, I just unplugged it. a. Uh, <laughs> Thumb drive that I put in before, because sometimes when you have too many things in, maybe the mouse acts goofy. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, um, Cindy is in the uh, studio with us now. Cindy, you have uh, done some things uh, new on the show. Of course, you've been booking people for AG Today. And yeah, another great guest today. Thank you very much, Cindy. By the way, Justine, the the cook, chef. Yes. From uh, Justine Bateman. Yeah, from the... um, Justine's Kitchen. Mm Mm-hmm. Kitchen mm-hmm. is on, uh, on the chat, so she's watching. Oh, oh your meatloaf nice. is amazing. It really was fantastic. <laughs> it really was. We're going to see you at yeah. BBW. Oh, Battlefield Brewers. I, dude, I thought the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> like, I thought going the on same. Here? Someone okay. put in the comments, <laughs> I added BBW to my list, list of places to eat, and I almost <laughs> cracked my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, so, Cindy, you have been um, <laughs> you've been booking everybody, and great job tonight. Uh, yes. as as you every, every one of them. Yeah, Not one of them has been job. a bore. That's I mean, great. Yeah, I, and I mean, it's good, because the people in the town are not a bore. That's good answer. Yeah. That is a good answer. Yeah, they're great. Now, another thing that you've been doing is, and uh, we're awesome too. Of course, you're in this town. Well, oh, of course. Uh, oh, well, yeah. even those right on the outskirts. Yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you're thank welcome. You. Thank now, you for that. Listen. Yeah. Uh, another thing you've been doing is uh, now, first of all, we have merged with uh, the Heritage Depot. Yes. Uh, Mike Stretch is uh, the guy. He, he's created our logo. He manages our website. He's got a T-shirt store. Mm-hmm. We talked earlier uh, or late last year and um, we're like, you know, we you know, he does stuff uh, for us. And uh, I said, why don't we just like merge our two stores together? Because you have a very sophisticated, sleek, classy look to uh, what you do. And, um, you know, I could promote the thing and, and then you can manage the store. Cause I, I just, I just couldn't, the, the it's store it's yeah. It's and I just didn't bother doing it um, that much by, by like last summer, I was just kind of over it. So, um, <laughs> so we, we started doing that. We've, uh, you know, kind of revamped the, the site. We've merged the two uh, product lines together and uh, we'll continue to add things to it and stuff like that. And so uh, Cindy has been helping me with that as well because that's Cindy. Because well, you know, She's I'll an tell you what. Around good human. Mike and I are both, you know, creative guys. We both mm-hmm. own businesses. He has a much more successful, larger business than I do, uh, but we still own businesses that take up our time. And being that we're creative, we're very flaky and forgetful. <laughs> and so we need somebody to keep us on task because. We'll talk about something in like January and say, oh, yeah, so we need that by April. And we're like, oh, yeah, we've got plenty of time. And then mid-March comes along. And we're like, so remember that thing we talked about in January? <laughs> <laughs> we needed it uh, yesterday. And then we either never get it done or it's, you know, crammed in. So Cindy's keeping us organized with that. And we and she had a great idea to have a uh, first day of spring sale. Yeah, yeah. And we had our first day of spring sale. Enjoyed it. And, you know, one thing, and I, I should have loaded a picture there. But I didn't. But one thing that um, we um, 
wanted to, uh, 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 or what I wanted to show you was uh, we have a new thing in the store, and that is doggy bandanas. Yes. Oh, because of Major. Because, Major. well, Major's Major. the model. She made her Facebook debut today. Did she? She oh did. Oh, my gosh. I was so excited. I Let's pull it up on my phone if you want. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, it's not going to be as clear, but we could no, do, we could do it. We could do it. I mean, everybody can also um, go to the site. And there see. you go. There's little Look mage how wearing the bandana. She is. Yeah. Look how cute. Yeah, she's out there on the battlefield. She loves the battlefield. Uh, as you know, for those of you who joined us last year on uh, the Get Out of the Car tours, and watch hey. Cindy get drug across the battlefield. Yes, and hopefully hours. not this year because she's she's <laughs> trained Dude, now. Yeah, I felt so bad for you. <laughs> Cindy did about uh, Cindy did about a hundred laps for every one lap I you did. and I did, man. I did. Also, um, I have to point out that the comment section is going. Hey, Ham on what over the BBW stuff, <laughs> <laughs> big burly wombat. <laughs> Ricky Fowler says you uh, guys need Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we do, yes, we do, Ricky Ricardo. Uh, all right, let's talk. Uh, let's see here. We got a couple of people in the uh, phone line queue there, so we'll uh, let me open the phone there. And uh, Alderson brought us into you, David. How are you today? David, put it up to your ear. And Some there's talking. another voice going, okay. who said that? <laughs> that? That one, right? There. That one. <laughs> who said that? Is he calling us from a landline? All right, give me one second. The, the no, auto... it's his cell phone. Who is this? <laughs> it's David. David, hello, David. How are you? What can we do for you? Hey, not bad. Not. How are you? I'm 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 doing well. I'm doing well. I'm uh, you know sitting here uh, looking at uh, the ladies who are looking at me, going, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Gotta hang up. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because the the auto screen says David Look Singer oh. and Noah Andre Trudeau. So I don't know what that means. David, you have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your libations. Uh, and we'll go to another one here in, in uh, just a second. Let me. Is Jamie on there? I don't see Jamie on there. No. Jamie. Sorry, Jamie. Uh, d let's see. Who is this? Uh, this says this is Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, once, <laughs> uh, once you two staging intervention. Okay. So is this is this Grant? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Grant? Slurring your words there, partner. Uh, I know. Well, it's it's partially an act. That was just food dye and milk that we were drinking before. Oh. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yes. That sounds gross. How are you doing, Grant? What's what's new in Australia? Uh, the cold weather's finally setting in. That's all right. It's not... Yes. Hot as hell, but that's good. Take that, but, um, Aussies. Reason for calling. <laughs> uh, what's your reason for well, calling? Well, it's not going to be freezing cold and snowing, so. But um, my reason for calling is that you had all this positivity from all these nice letters, and I thought I would even it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would. Go ahead. Because uh, you, you can't get you can't give Matt a big a big head or it, you know already that he already does so you know exactly you exactly need a size hat he has to get dude. <sighs> extra extra large read all about it and then they have to stretch it oh god that's a hideous thought exactly um but but uh, no, as I've always said of all the podcast about the Battle of Gettysburg hosted by a guy from New Jersey. Yours is probably the best. <laughs> probably. <laughs> well, that is that is awfully nice of you, Grant. Thank you so much for saying that's really a, a top-notch compliment. I told you, I've got human feelings after all. I can compliment. What have you been drinking tonight? <laughs> I said, what have you been drinking tonight? It's probably daytime there, right? Well, yeah. It's the first it's, thing in the morning, right? Eight, it's 8 o'clock. 
It's eight thirty in the morning. Yeah, what are you drinking? I get, I get up early to watch the show. So you, wow. so, so we're your morning show. We should call it Good Morning Australia. <laughs> Good morning, Melbourne. <laughs> what? We should do that. We'll do a morning oh, show in Melbourne. Australia. Oh, Good morning, Australia. <laughs> hey, what what part of Australia are you in? Uh. If you know, basically, the part that sticks out the furthest east <laughs> in the middle is basically where it is. Okay, what's like the in name? In the middle of the east coast, right what's, there. What's the name of the town? The Gold, it's called the Gold, the Gold Coast. It's a city that's basically like Miami or San Diego. Okay. So you're, you're like right across the way from Port Moresby then, huh? Uh, no, Port Moresby's up north, um, right above us, northeast of us. I'm... We're halfway down on the East Coast. Somebody in the comment so, section um, says, but, Grant yeah. lives in Schmucktown. Is that right? <laughs> oh, I wonder where that person could be from. Uh, Booby Town. Oh, there you go. But um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd just sort of pop on and, and give my usual compliments. That's all. Thank and, you, uh, wait, Grant. Thank wait, you very much. And what? Grant, you have a podcast, right? No, he's a videographer. Videographer. No, Grant. Um. <laughs> no. So what? So the name of your town is what? I forgot what you said already. Gold Coast. Gold, Gold Town. Coast. Gold. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do a morning okay. show. You tell all of your friends that this is a new morning show for mm-hmm. Australia. And um, get them to watch first thing in the morning, and we'll we'll be like, "Good morning, Gold Coast, Melbourne, Sydney, and Adelaide, and Adelaide, and in Perth, in Perth, uh, and Swazi Town." The, the bad cities. Well, whatever. They're all their cities. All what? The, the name a name a good city. Gold Coast. Gold Coast. No, <laughs> it's not a, it's, it's, I'm looking at Gold Coast online, and it's pretty swanky looking. Oh, look at you, Grant. Grant, you uh, upper crust? No, no, no. Are you I've part of the land of gentry? It, it's literally. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not quite up there with the the aristocratic. Aristoc- I can't even say the friggin' <laughs> word. Um, I'm not up there with. <laughs> I'm not up there. I'm not up there with New Jersey royalty. That's for sure. Yeah. I well, that's pi- Grant. Send us an email with your picture in it because I need a face to go with your voice. I think of um, He's catching feelings. What's the guy oh, from Mad Magazine? <laughs> that's <not> what he <laughs> looks. Like. <laughs> Just, well, that's, that's what I've been picturing. <laughs> I did. I did get compared to him when I was a kid. Did you really? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just picturing something goofy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up old memories. I, I had. Uh, I've got. I've got red hair, but I don't really look like that anymore. So. What yeah. was his name? Is it was it Alfred Newman? Are you looking at me? Yeah, I'm looking at you. Yeah, yeah I think so. Clue, man. I don't know. The Grant says he thinks so. I think that's right. Alfred it was E. Alfred, Newman. I think something. Alfred but, E. Newman, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying but yeah. To answer, to <laughs> sure. Because you just want to sure move sounds on. good. Because you just want to move on. That's why I got I'm the news, that. and there are like 700. I things. know. All right, Grant. What else you got? Anything else exciting? No. Okay, great. I was just, I was just going to say to to answer best thing about the picture, that would take away the whole fun of the surprise of just showing up and her not know anyone. You guys not knowing who it is. Yeah, but. and then until, creeping until us out. Until you open your until mouth. Until you open your mouth. Right. Yeah. And then he's like, or nor. And we're like, oh, it's Grant. It's in or nor. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't worry. I'll be. I'll, I'll make it as annoying as possible because that's the only thing I do well. So. All right. One more question for you, and then we really got to go to the news, okay, Grant? And the question is. All right. There you go. I hung up on you now. All right. So- <laughs> That's so mean. Hey, he hung up on us Grant. last week. I'm hanging up on him this week. Grant, I'm sorry oh, that that's it. a jerk face. <laughs> Did it again. Oh, and now I lost them again. Oh, because oh, I, I hit the I wrong one. No, no, I hit the wrong one. That's all. And now, Whoa. all the news that's fit to print and a good deal that's not. Here's AG Today's lead anchor, Bethany Yingling, with current events and sidewalk conditions. You got What, what are you doing, Come Bethany? Come on, Beth. I don't hear anything. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Beth. We're okay. all staring all right. at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Now you and hear oh, it? Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that's, right. yeah, but also do not the, the funny one. one. <laughs> Why do you want the funny one? <laughs> because no. it's going to be a Bethany. depressing no, day. No, you got to do. It's going to be a depressing day. Listen, to the funny you one. give me two. Do the funny one. Three or four. Give me two depressing. Do the funny one. Two serious. You got to do or the not, serious one. No, because I'm not prepared. Go ahead, do the funny one. That's why it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're not understanding no. how this works. No, you have to plunge. I'm going to plunge through it. No, I'm not doing it. Bone right in front of you. Oh, I will throw up on you. That is. Did you eat the cartilage back there? By the way. He did, and then he yeah. stood in the mirror in the That's in the disgusting. window like a there, there like a psycho little, there person. There was very little cartilage <laughs> on them, to be fair, though. There was just a little nugget here and there. Anyway, oh. here's what's happening in the news. Oh, wait, okay. Nugget. Now, all the news that's fit to print and a good deal that's not. Just here's try AG it. today's lead anchor, <laughs> Bethany Lee, with current Go, events ready? and sidewalk conditions. More people are dying in horrible ways in Gettysburg, <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> dun dun. <laughs> dun dun. <laughs> There's going to be a Miss PA scholarship competition <laughs> in Bet Gettysburg. Dun dun. <laughs> and uh, there's a more. new Gilder Lehrman uh, winner for the Lincoln Prize. <laughs> See, I don't. I wasn't prepared. Uh, uh, <laughs> dude, Cam going no is my favorite part. I know. Of okay, you've now made it to the board. Don't Thank worry. you. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Da-da. Yes. <laughs> da <Da-da. laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you got, Beth? Oh, There's a lot of news here. Uh, mix them up, please. Don't 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 start. All start right, well, with the bad ones and then bring us up, please. Please. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's bad. Because you don't want to bring please. us down at the end of the show. So bring us down now. Okay, the- so here's we'll go in order of worseness to goodness. Oh, God. Okay. okay, so the worst one just happened yesterday. Um, there is a gentleman from McSherry's town, which is like two towns east of here going towards Hanover right um who was released on bail for um you know statutory rape mm. and um on $500,000 bail and um about a week ago and he went into McSherry's town and abducted mm. a 12-year-old girl at gunpoint um the police were called immediately. They chased him. No, it, it was the one that he was accused of. Uh, was it? Well, the article that I read this morning. Um, in the Is paper, it the one that he was accused I, I believe of that's what it said. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, the article I read was older. Okay. Um, and they chased him through Hanover. And he pulled off into like a field outside of Littlestown. And... Um, killed himself in Mm. front of the little girl. Mm. Um, So they were attempting to issue, they were in the process of issuing an Amber Alert, um, but never got it out because they caught him so quickly. So, I mean, she was not away from her home for very long, thank God. Um, But But still, she's going to need some serious therapy um, after all of this because she just witnessed a man Mm. kill himself right in front of her. Well, and so, not only that, but the other the other trauma happening that, he put, that her through. put her through already. So, um, fifty three years old, he was, <laughs> and she was twelve, or is twelve. Um, so, absolutely horrible story. Um, and it it, I didn't even know we were capable in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, of having a breaking news alert, like on the <laughs> newspaper and all that kind of stuff. I've never seen it. And then all of a sudden, all these things start popping up on my computer screen. What do you mean? Um, like it just busted into whatever you were doing? Well, I was I was online yeah. because I was pulling things for um, work. Work. Yeah. Yeah, and it it just came up breaking news. Really from Getty or from the Gettysburg Times? Yeah. Wow, that is uh, that is I didn't know uh, we that's did wild. That. Yeah. So um, okay. All right, so that was the worst. That was the worst. All right, one. so we're going to get a little better, but still bad, right? Still bad. Great. Um, so <laughs> there is a gentleman uh in December who was uh Where's that? No, in December. Oh, he was back in, in the December. month of December. Gotcha. He was accused of killing his roommate in Mount Pleasant Township. He was right down the road from my house. Um, he was accused of killing He's one creepy Looking dude. Oh, let yeah. Me, let me see. Let me see. It's a nice mug shot. Oh, God. Yeah. So he was accused of killing you know his roommate. He, you know who he <laughs> looks like. 
you know, <laughs> he looks like Carl Featherton or whatever the guy. Wendell. Was. Wendell what? Clarkson. Clarkson. Wendell Clarkson, uh, <laughs> VP at uh, M&T Bank. Uh, that's kind of what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. But anyway, they are not seeking the death that's penalty. That's the face in this I make case. when I go. Uh, you want a loan? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no. Uh, okay, go ahead. Um, they are not seeking the death penalty in his case. Um, so that was a big deal. They weren't sure what was going to happen there. Um, a lot of people were calling for the death penalty because of um, the heinousness of the crime. Mm. Um, and up until this point, we had not had a lot of murders and killings and bad things happening in Gettysburg, but now all of a sudden shenanigans. So, Yeah, do you think it's because the whole country is losing its mind, so why wouldn't people here lose their minds as well? I think there is. You're the hard-hitting news analyst. I think traditionally there is a spurt of these kinds of things in the winter months, and especially when people are like, get me the hell out of my house. Mm, interesting. Um. I think that is traditional. You think homicides? I always thought that was suicides, but you're saying I think it's just people being assholes, pissed off at each other, and I get that. Um, but we just don't usually see it Before here. Before you started doing the news mm -hmm. for this, did mm -hmm. you pay a lot of attention to local news? Uh, yes, by default, because I used to be in an office with Aaron Pierce. And Aaron is. I don't know what that you means. have to explain uh, that. Aaron joke. is. <laughs> Aaron is um, my coworker. Okay. And she used. We used to be in the same office, and our desks faced each other. Sure. And she is all about like she. She was. I'm using her uh, newspaper thing to get into the newspaper. Oh, okay. Right now. This is her login. She's very much into the news. Yes, and she would read the newspaper at the beginning of the day, and then tell me all the things that were happening. Okay. She used to work for Destination Gettysburg, so she's pretty up on it. I thought you were going to say she used to work for Destiny's Child. <laughs> <laughs> that was before she worked for yeah. Destination Gettysburg. Because don't you think I would have told you before now that I knew somebody that worked for <laughs> Destiny's Child? I mean, well, she I was a know. roadie. Yeah. You, know. you never know. Oh my gosh, I can't handle you people. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Also, the Gettysburg. Now we're going to move into like nicer things. Now we're All moving. All right. So into we're getting nice. into nice stuff. Ish, yep. Okay, mm -hmm. let me know when we're into good, so then I'll read the sponsor's ad so that the good news is brought to you by them. Okay. Um, the Gettysburg Community Theater is going to host a Gettysburg Scholarship Competition and therefore crown a Miss uh, Gettysburg teen and a Miss Gettysburg for 2024. That Who's will the be previous Miss Gettysburg? The, well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, okay. So Casey Hartman, uh -huh. who's currently attending Gettysburg College, has right. claimed the Miss Gettysburg title from last year. Gotcha. She will co-host this competition <laughs> and crown Miss Gettysburg 2024. Um, Miss Who was Miss Gettysburg before her? There wasn't anyone. So wait, what do you mean she claimed? I'm confused. I think we've talked about this person before. She's trying to get me to say it out loud. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> there was not previously a competition. Thanks for throwing water on the fire there, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> There's not previously a competition. <laughs> Anyway, We're all Miss freezing and I'm making a campfire. <laughs> and Debbie's Miss like, oh, there's a full fire. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> oh, shit. What now? What? There, was, there is a Miss Gettysburg teen from 2023. Her name is Leslie Shack Shacklett. Teen. Teen. Uh -huh. And she won but, her title But how about year. Miss Gettysburg? The previous one is Casey Hartman. Okay. And then before her? There wasn't one. Okay. <laughs> She kind of so then, proclaimed so then, herself. So she was the first one to win it. Uh, they they said before mm -hmm. that, you know, let's do, let's start doing a Miss Gettysburg thing, and Wait. she was the first one to win the pageant. No. Who proclaimed what? herself? She didn't. There was no pageant. She just told everybody she was <laughs> Miss Gettysburg. I yes. Yeah. The is back room related? is really not getting the joke. Is, is, she, <laughs> is she related to the lady that is doing all that stuff with the high school's logo? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but funnily enough, they have the same theme song. <laughs> I think they have the same mental problem as well. It's delusional. Well, you know what? I actually, I don't know if you know this, but I proclaimed myself King of Gettysburg last week. And like them, you're delusional. No, no, no. I have the crown at home to prove it. I bet you do. I bet it's, I bet Cindy it's got made it for out of, me for Christmas. I bet it's made out of markers and cardboard. Okay, no. moving on. No, she had it made at uh, trophies.com. 
<laughs> Next in the news, this is kind of a sad one. Aww. After 23 years in business, Hunt's Battlefield yeah. Fries oh, and Cafe yeah. is closing. That is sad. Um, they're located at 61 Steinware Avenue. Um, they're well known for their fries <laughs> and for their cheesesteaks. <laughs> they're well known. <laughs> cheesesteaks. Eh? Uh, yeah. And the breakfast sandwiches are yeah. so good. You want a good greasy breakfast sandwich, like bacon, egg, and cheese or whatever. Yeah, go that. When are they closing? After the season. Yeah, after this the season. Is the okay, last season. so when the you come season. down here, ladies and gentlemen, this season, mm -hmm. when you come down here, oh ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, okay, Matt Atkinson. This season, you're going to have to go over there to Hunt's Battlefield Fries and you're going to get yourself a Surprise. nice, <laughs> greasy bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. And, and you're, you're going to look at it in a cold burn. <laughs> and you're going to look at a cardboard cutout of John Wayne. Yeah. There he is, the Duke, right up there. Right up there. And uh, he's standing there, and you're going to have your breakfast, and you're going to take your original cores, and you're going <laughs> to salute the Duke, have your breakfast and beer. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So um, next... We're moving on. Is it happy? Matthew. It's a happier one. Oh, thank God. This happy news is brought to you <laughs> by the Civil War Institute at Gettysburg College's CWI Summer Conference, June 7th through the 12th, ladies and gentlemen, 2024. Special guests Harold Holzer, Ronald White, D. Scott Hartwig, Elizabeth Leonard, Aaron Sheehan, Dean, Jim Brummel, Jonathan White, our buddy Jennifer Murray, and more. Or E. Moss. Is it Ron White, the comedian? Yep, Ron White, the comedian. He's going by Ronald now. No, <laughs> it's not Ron White, the comedian. Uh, the program includes uh, active uh, battlefield experiences, lectures, and interactive small group discussions with leading Civil War scholars. Customizable packages are available, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to inquire about our numerous discounts for military veterans, Gettysburg <laughs> College alum. Whew. Uh, members of local partnering institutions and publications, K through 12 education, ed educators, public historians, students, youths, and youths, 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 two youths. youths. Two youths. <laughs> what is a youth? Excuse me. Two youths and uh, new attendee recruiters. Go to www.gettysburg.edu slash Civil War Institute. <laughs> Google it. Google it. It's a long <laughs> email address. Just Google CWI Summer Conference, uh, Civil War Institute, Gettysburg, etc. You'll get it. Uh, questions, or you can e you can email them. Contact them at uh, civilwar at gettysburg.edu or 717-337-6590. That's 717-337-6590. Uh, tell them you heard about them on Address in Gettysburg. It's not going to get you anything, but at least they'll know that we're promoting it. Or maybe it will. I don't know. They didn't say that, but you know, I'm not saying that you will. But let them know. Let them know. Help the community. Go ahead. All right. Next. Yes. Um, the Remember we had um, Mr. Smith from you, the Barn Resort yeah. here do you a remember, couple weeks ago. Wait, do you remember when we had um, Better Than Bailey's? <laughs> I think you do. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead with your news. Um and the barn resort, and he was saying it was opening in the spring. Yes. Well, the farmhouse restaurant is officially announcing that it will be open near the end of the month, and they did not give a date. Yes, Which they month? did. It's Easter Sunday. Yeah. But reservations for Easter Sunday, so they're wow. no longer available. They are sold out. Yeah. Wow. The so they're they're it resurrecting the business at <laughs> that location on Easter Sunday. Yeah. Easter Sunday. Good for them. <laughs> and they sold all reservations so for that just day, a, so you're out of they're luck. They're calling it the farmhouse. It will appear, appeal to groups of all sizes with a rustic atmosphere with modern touches. Mm -hmm. It will be joined by Cellar 75 Bar, serving light fare appetizers and drinks, as well as a gift room, gift shop, and game room. Mm. The menu features traditional American food served buffet style, including local and seasonal specialties and family-friendly and dietary conscious selections. Oh. Well, they have Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> no, do it in the intercom. Do it in the intercom. It's better in the intercom. Intercom Gump is best. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, call uh, it's good for us. Well, they have Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they might have Dr. Pepper there. Maybe Mr. Pibb. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Cindy and I went over to uh, Colby and Taylor's house a couple weeks ago. Had a delicious dinner. Delicious. That was that was our other cheat meal. It was, uh, we, it was, it was pasta. What was it? What kind of pasta was it? To Colb? Spicy meatball rigatoni. That's a spicy meatball rigatoni. <laughs> And it was delicious. And then we played Scategories. Did you ever play Scategories? I love Scategories. Uh, I'll tell you something. You really learn. <laughs> a lot about people. You really do learn a lot about people. What's funny is, is when you have the same answers as someone else at the yeah. table for everything. And you realize what you're both uh, a bunch of <laughs> Juveniles. Holes. Yes. Uh, juveniles is a better word than what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and um and so uh yeah and then after categories what was the name of the game we played what after do you meme what do you meme it's like cards against humanity but with memes yeah, yeah. and that was fun cards that against was fun. humanity is better though i just we played that at uh, tommy's house the other day yeah i've never played cards against humanity oh my gosh, i have, I have to... all the cards it's it's good <sighs> when the summer my happens really we, good, we but... can, can we like i'll have like a we uh, can do this at our place too but we like a bonfire or something out in your yard Bonfire and play bonfire, and then we could play maybe, um, uh, you know, I don't know, charades or <laughs> I am not playing charades, win, with you. lose, or draw. Why, why, why not? That'd be fun. I'll, I'll play whatever, man. Yeah, why wouldn't you want to play? Think we should play you want to know why I'll play whatever because I'll be drinking while I'm doing it. There you go. Well, that's exactly right. Why wouldn't you play charades with us? I just am not good at charades. Okay. And you'll make fun of me horribly, and I refuse to be a Bonfire! Party. No, I, I would not make fun of you. I'm not particularly good at charades either. You know... Give me... give me, t Tell me something, you, and I'll do a charade. As, Ready? Go ahead. No, wait. As Just, you've been drinking, your doesn't... eyes get squintier. What are you saying? Squintier? Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you like trying to you're, say? <laughs> you start... Your eyes start going like this. No, well, I'm tired. I'm and tired. you've been my drinking. My back hurts. And I'm Dude, my back is killing. That's why I was standing up. Yeah. Ago. I know. Okay. So, by anyway, the way, uh, the great Eric Houston gave us a standing desk to put in there. I got to just switch it over. I haven't done it yet. Go ahead. Gettysburg College and the Gilder Lehrman Institute of American History have announced that Francis M. Clark and Rebecca Jo Plant, co authors of the book Of Age, Boy Soldiers, and Military Power in the Civil War Era by Oxford University Press, are the recipients of the 2024 Gilder Lehrman Lincoln Prize. <laughs> I've got the, two guns, one for the each of you. The Gilder Lehrman Lincoln <laughs> Prize is awarded annually for the finest scholarly work in English on Abraham Lincoln, the American Civil War soldier, or the American Civil War era, and one that un also un enhances the general public's understanding of the Civil War era. So That's interesting. congratulations <laughs> to those two. That is a big deal in the Civil War nerd community. Sure, sure. Any, Yeah, that's great. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you had no clue what you were saying that too. Yeah. <laughs> you were thinking about Doc Holliday. Man. I was, I was. <laughs> well, so, Ike, whatever do you mean? That's got, what I was thinking. Uh, any locals? Guns, one for each of you. <laughs> any locals or anyone there. coming into town this weekend, be aware that PennDOT hey, has announced that. <laughs> <laughs> What did there will be they, PennDOT <laughs> announced today that a weekend closure for northbound and southbound Route 15 in Adams County oh. is scheduled for the weekend beginning Friday, April 19th, so that a pipe can be replaced just south of the Steinware Avenue exit near Gettysburg. Oh. Did you say it was a lane? That each is a way hell of a thing for you to say to me. Closure for the northbound <laughs> and southbound route. Wow. Why Johnny so it's going to be closed. It like <laughs> yeah. It looks like business 15 is what oh, they're talking about. <laughs> What else you got, Bethany? <laughs> I want to follow up on the planning commission thing for the library. I got hairy leg. Oh. <laughs> planning commission for the library. I'm sorry, Beth. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> you I, I blame Beth. She brought brain. the booze. So Beth brought the bellies. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that we stuck to tombstone lines. The whole this, this has to How do loot. with yeah, So there was a rezoning that was needed for the library to be in there because right. it was an industrial or a institutional zone one, right. meaning that you can't Why? have a stand a home, standalone library mean? on the on the site. Yeah. Um, so now they needed sure to rezone. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Call me. All right, let's give her a break, a break here. <laughs> now, I am interested in this story, so go ahead. I'm sorry. So they were required to rezone so that they could have a standalone library See the, on that site. This is my question. <laughs> what is the point of zoning if you can just rezone when you want to do something that it's not zoned for? Well, because it has to go in front of a zoning board. And then you got to pay. Or it's just, it, a, let's just make uh, it a free-for-all. 
then you gotta let's pay just to make play it a then. free for all. So as <laughs> usually, <laughs> I don't think you'd be happy with that. No, I wouldn't. But no. <laughs> I'm also not happy with you know you can change the rules just because you want to change but, the rules. But right, but well, I, think I mean, I people, am because that's how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to be able to change the rules. But I mean, with zoning, it's I don't know. But people have a say. I think that's. Yes, that's you're right. I forgot what country that... I'm in. We're supposed to have a say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have a say. For a minute, I thought I was in Soviet Russia. Oh, boy. Don't they have a saying about uh, being down by the river, walking on water? What? <laughs> <laughs> the people in the comment section are going to get that. That's a tombstone quote, too. I don't remember that quote. Who yeah. says that? Doc Holliday says it. it's right after Wyatt Earp kills uh, the head cowboy dude Yeah, with the shotgun. And Curly the Bill? Yeah. And then... Someone walks up to Doc Holliday and goes, where's Wyatt? And he goes, I think he's down by the river, walking on water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the library. Yeah, so at its meeting on Monday evening, the Gettysburg Planning Commission approved the request from the Adams County Library System to allow a new library to be built near the YMCA on Fairfield Road. Um, The dormitories that are currently there would be torn down. (gasps) The vote was uh, four to one to recommend the proposed rezoning amendment. Uh. What year were the dorms built in? It doesn't say. It was like this. Was it the 1900s or the 1800s? I think they're newer than that. I think so too. No, then oh, 19. Well, maybe it was 1980s. I think. I feel like it was either the 60s, the 70s, or the 80s. Well, that's a big swath of time there. It is about a 30 year <laughs> swath. But I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Could have been any one of those decades. What's your thought on moving the library there? <laughs> Well, having talked job, to people son. from the library, <laughs> what? a lot of people are really... <laughs> Taking over because I can't. Um, Go ahead. Bethany, you like just the library through. itself, is, it's they've had a apart. lot of problems right. with it. And they were closed for a couple weeks over the summer because they had a sewage leak. And um, But what do you feel about the location? Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to know. I do feel bad for people because the one thing this article brought up and I had not thought of before was that it is so close to the middle school and the elementary school that those kids can walk there for their after school oh. programs. Oh. Now, I would need to know how many kids actually take advantage of that. None. Yeah, I was going to say probably not many. You're right. They have their phones. So I I don't know. No, I'm more concerned school, about middle school, sure. I'm more concerned about old people that still know what a library is. See, I think that's the thing. Young people, they're yeah. not going to libraries. I know. Older are. people, though, they still know what a library is and how to I use it. And right, but I feel yeah. like part of the the draw to a library is like a big older building. Yes, that's not like, a new. It's the, yeah, yeah, not a new library. Like Stinks like old books. Yeah, yeah. college libraries and that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There is no such <laughs> thing as a stink of old books. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, books smell the stench they smell of old wonderful. books. And they do, I love them. In an older building, I feel like it's much better. So, you, you know, you guys, I'm sure it'll be lovely. Call me. Do you guys remember the days when you had to, like, do a book report and actually had to go to the library to do your research? Yeah, yes. it was horrible. Dude, it was nowadays, kids, nowadays kids really? just I go to Wikipedia to and I know, copy me the work cited off of the bottom of the Wikipedia page. Yeah, well, and they, um, uh, or they pay somebody to write it for them or... Uh, well, sometimes, like, uh, so Paige, they're not allowed to use Wikipedia. So right. some schools, maybe they let them, but Wikipedia no, was that- off limits that is off limits but if you go to the wikipedia page it'll have their sources right and right. you just use those sources. so you just rephrase it and use right. the sources in other words like you take yeah. the wikipedia and you just rewrite it and then use the sources they use and then you win yeah but you don't in the long run you Am lose I like the only person cheaters never win kids <laughs> books anymore no you are no we all i but i would read books if i had the time i tried to start reading a book last night Fell asleep. Go ahead. Uh huh. Thanks to a bipartisan push, nearly one point three million dollars in federal funding has been awarded for the Gettysburg Welcome Center, planned at three forty Baltimore Street. Nice. Last month, on behalf of the borough of Gettysburg, Main Street Gettysburg submitted a congressional appropriation request to both the U.S. House and Senate, um, and it was pushed through by uh, Republican Representative John Joyce, um, U.S. Senators Bob Casey and John Fetterman, both Democrats. That sounds very bipartisan. Mm-hmm. I actually, I think mm-hmm. I looked this up earlier. I saw it and I went and I got, uh, yeah, I got a clip from Fetterman here. Ooh, don't do it. Please, don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude. I, so, but, but <laughs> I was, he actually was for it. 
I, I was just going to ask if he's recovered from a stroke. Well, so I guess he has. No, he has. He has, actually. And he is a lot more coherent now. So you can actually put together a few words? Yeah, yeah. So there, you there just is heard a it. rendering of it. Okay. Now, show. this is going to be exciting because... Uh, ooh. Oh, oh! Now wait a second. Why? Why does the rest of the street? Oh, are they gonna like do a whole new facelift? They're tearing the building down. No, no, no! I'm looking at the sidewalk. Look at the sidewalk. Does that look? Oh, that's part. Oh. What? That's part of the Baltimore Street redo. Right. So there will be brick sidewalks and stuff. Oh, that'd be great. And they're gonna take away street parking. Oh my God! I swear to God. <laughs> Where are you gonna park in this town? You know, I'm just telling you. There's already nowhere to park, and as the self-proclaimed king of Gettysburg, let me just say no. Okay, we're not doing that. Not all of it, but a good, but good chunks of it. No, j- have just where outs. you need to be able to park. Oh, I hate those. It's so stupid on Stein. What is the point of that anyway? Is that is that to slow traffic? I or? think so. Okay. I think that's its original intention. Yeah. But, really all, all it but it, you don't need angry. to. Yeah, it does make people angry. And frankly, you can continue to go straight. You don't have to actually bump out. I go straight all the way. <laughs> Unless there's somebody standing there. Nah, who cares? <laughs> you might want to go around. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> um, okay. so the Welcome Center has you know, been funded. Things are going to really start moving along with that project. Mm-hmm. I'm most excited about it Zero because of the bathrooms. Point. Yes, that's like, the best Zero. part. The number of people that come into the Children's Museum and go, yes. is there a restroom? Please, good Lord, is there a restroom anywhere near here? Um, it's ridiculous. I mean, there's thing. nowhere for anybody to go. And, and of course, and I don't think they should, but the businesses won't let them in if they're not patrons. Mm-hmm. And and I I totally agree with the businesses there because they got to pay that water bill or they got to clean up the mess you've made. Mm-hmm. Um. So I mean, but people, you got to go. What are they going to do? Just go behind a bush? They'll get arrested for that. I mean, like it really is. It it's is a situation. It's a situation, and it's something that we've needed for a very long time. Also, a parking garage down there, underground parking garage. One that has a taller ceiling than five foot two. Car- parking garage? Yes. I can't get my <laughs> truck in any of the parking garages here. Really? Yeah, it's too It's too tall. I've seen trucks like yours go into the parking garage. Mm, oh, not, sorry. not the one over here. The one over here by my studio, definitely not happening. And then the one over by um, the... What theater. one is by your studio? The one that's right across. I think it's like close to. It's not, or maybe not right across from uh, um, Kenny's. There's like a parking wow. garage. I had no idea. There's a, a parking, parking garage, garage there? there? It's behind, yeah. behind behind Kenny's. Behind, behind Kenny's. Kenny's. It's like under the building. Under the building. It's mostly for I think under there. Kenny's? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, like the loading dock area. No, no, no. There's like a it's a parking garage. I never knew that. What, I, Go drive by sometime. Now, when you're saying behind Kenny's, are you saying like the back the, part of the building, like the west end of Kenny's, or <laughs> the, the west east? end of Kenny's? What? So across the street from Laszlo's Pharmacy, where the back door is. I don't know what's across the where the back door is. That's a that's a oh that is a parking garage. Oh. Yeah, I always thought that was for Kenny's staff. That's like a public parking garage. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. I did not. But now not. we just gave away a secret. Yeah, we so did. I'm sorry, guys, but you're all going to have to. But be. nobody goes over that way. The tourists don't go there. What's over there for the tourists? The segways. Oh, the segways, yeah. <laughs> Foursquare. Other than the segways <laughs> and Foursquare, what's over there for the tourists? Not much. Not much. Okay, moving on. Moving on. So, on a big uh, friend of the show. Oh, Max Felty. Yes, Max. Oh, yes. Is the winner of the 2024 Jim Getty Spirit of Gettysburg Award Good awarded for him. by oh, Destination yeah. Gettysburg. Yay. That was that last night at the thing? That was on Tuesday. Or Tuesday? Yep. At the dinner. It now, was very nice. What do you have to do to get the James Gettys uh what it's, was it? You don't have to do anything. You're nominated by somebody. Oh, gotcha. And it just, you know, do you exemplify things well, he does. that make you Gettysburg awesome? He he certainly does. And he does definitely that. does. He and does. they had a little video that they put together with some really cute pictures of him with his dad. Uh, and then they told this funny story about him that the first one of the first times he drove a bus around town he got lost and had to pull over <laughs> and act like he knew where he was going and that there was something wrong with the bus so he didn't let people know <laughs> That's that there clever. was something. That He'd he was be a lost. good jazz musician. Yes. 
So we're, congratulations <laughs> to him as well as um, the, yes, congratulations, I noticed Max. that the um, the tour center is open. There was an open flag next to it. We got a Great tour of the new tour. building the other day. It was <gasps> beautiful. You went without me? Well, we had a meeting. So we got a tour firsthand and uh, first beforehand. I, I know I need to get Ezra over there. He's super upset. You do. He goes, it's open. Like yeah. he lost his mind when we went past. It's, it's really, cool. really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, high ceilings. Um, we got to go up upstairs and look down out the window because they got windows that overlook yep. the floor and everything. And um, I said, you should make this a two way mirror or uh, whatever. Or Is it one way or a two way mirror? Which is the one that you could see through, but they can't see you. That's two way. way. One way? Two way mirror. A regular mirror is one way. Because you can only see one Two way, again. correct. Right. So two way mirror, yeah. Stop. You need to have a mirror so that you could stare down at the people, but they can't see you. And then you can. But go, they could see themselves. Uh, 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 uh. I think it would yeah. be cool to do that bar on the top. On he the was talking the about max. That. Yeah, he should. Yeah. Do some, he should. He should do the max. The max. It should be a private club, though. Oh, uh, only for people like us. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted to be like, a you know, like when you walk into a restaurant, they're like, "Hey, Bethany." Got your, yeah, like, they, like Norm. Give you your, exactly. Yeah. Norm. I want to be Norm. You, yeah, you could be Norm. People would love to. I you think just people gotta would, keep going to one place enough, and that'll happen. Taylor that's and I right. That all yeah. The time. We 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 are habitual in our places we go to, and that happens to us. Yeah. Making your way in the world today <laughs> takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Boom, 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 boom. And they're always <laughs> glad you came. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, you go, because I want to do the background parts. You, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I only know when you're you singing. You want to go where your troubles are all, all the same. You want to go where, where everybody, everybody knows ding, your ding, name. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right. Oh, we did it. End, yeah. I, Rebecca was much better. All right. So what else you got? Anything else there, Bethany? I mean, it is uh, 1030 in the evening. So uh, maybe... <laughs> I've been trying. To I think. know. Well, but you have two you guys wanna... with ADD. What? Did you want to talk to Debbie about the training thing? They also did. Debbie. Yes. Je Debbie's got huge news and the training thing. Yeah. All right, Debbie. What do you got? Okay, so for those who are wondering what the heck the training thing means, right. is I am a volunteer for the Park Service, and we had our refresher training on Saturday. Okay. And one of the big things, no, I cannot say anything about Little Round Tops. Don't even ask. Oh, but you told us before they're opening it tomorrow. No, they're oh, not. Oh, okay. okay. However, not tomorrow. this is now official yeah. news. It's on the website. The licensed battlefield guide test will be given on December seventh this year. When did Pearl they, Harbor they, Day. When did they announce that? So it that's like that's the first today. time it's been officially announced. I know, but when today? They they posted it just a couple hours ago. Uh, on the park when do you need to sign up by? Because I was told don't 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 say anything. They I posted didn't know I was allowed. I know, but I didn't know that. <laughs> Well, I think they posted it like during the show. So how would? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. Um, so when I heard about it, it was not allowed to be talked about. Oh. When I heard about when they're opening Little Round Top, I was told I'm not allowed to talk about it. But all bets are off tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm telling you, January first, twenty twenty seven. I'm not telling you. Not so much. I've been sworn it's to secrecy. There, and I'm not. Well, it's not out there for me. It's a true story. I, I don't care I'd who's who blabbed it, job. but it wasn't yeah. me. Who who blabbed it? I don't know. It's been online. Oh, who, put it, who put it out online? I, I don't know. Just speculation? No, I think somebody official. I oh, think one okay. of somebody accidentally let it mm. slip. Well, I was told yeah. don't share it, and I haven't been told it's okay to share it. So until no, I'm told, they, I'm they didn't not even sharing tell it. the volunteers what the date was going to be. So no, because you guys are they volunteers. They gave us the general ballpark they give everybody else. Well, it'll be interesting uh, whenever it is. I am uh, very much looking forward to watching the sunset from up there. Cynthia, I have not taken you up there to see the sunset Aww, yet, and you have. Oh, right. sweet! I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm gonna take you up and drop you off so you can look at the sunset. 
Uh, okay. Anything else, Bethany? No. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have to thank you. So- oh, I'm sorry, uh, Debbie. Anything else? <laughs> Well, um, I was just going to say some of the things that we learned uh, April 5th is when the spring programs are going to resume. Yep. Okay. So Do you have uh, any? Uh, nothing specific. No. And I double checked the website right. earlier, but no. right. um, those are supposed to start April 5th. Uh, the Living History begins May 11th. That schedule is on the website. Mm-hmm. It's most weekends from now through from May through October. Mm. And I'll I'll announce what's coming up as we move closer yeah um the wills house will be open again also on may 11th um and the doors open also same day i know chris had talked about this before um from what i understand the three houses i know about will be the Bryan house the leicester house and the hummelbaugh house oh i've never I didn't been even know you were allowed to go in that one yeah they are Bar- have some funds that will allow them to start restoring that one and that's mm-hmm. part of why it's going to be part of doors open so you can see restoration work in progress cool hmm. which I think would be super cool and uh, uh, Colby uh, how how are things with you uh, are you going to be going to the Hummel Ball house sure alright I don't know maybe yeah good <laughs> Good. That sounds uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Anything, are you guys going? Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I would like to go in sure. there. Actually. He'll go and I'd he'll like, go without me because he does everything without me and then doesn't tell me about it. That's right. You well, working. you're always busy. You can totally come. I'm literally right down the road. You were working yeah. when we You went. can see Rub House from there. Well, that's different. But usually all the fun stuff I do is after hours, like sleep. <laughs> 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 Anything else, Debbie? Nope, that's it. All right. Um... Is there I, anybody even still listening? No, everybody okay. checked out. Okay. Um, we're down to three listeners. No, we're not. They're all talking about BBW. They don't even care. They're still talking about BBWs. Look at that. Well, next week we have Ross Hetrick from oh, yes. Thaddeus Stevens. Museum. Thank you. That's good. You should do that at the end of every show. Just tell us what we have next week. It, so. it opened. Ross Hetrick, listen, uh, he has. Uh, he is a man that if you... <laughs> If you want to get something done, I thought you were going to say the man with the Midas touch. Well, he's he's got some touch. Um, I don't know if it's Midas or what, but you you uh, you definitely want to uh, pay attention to the story of Ross Hedrick because you know a lot of people dream of something, and often they share their dream with people, and they're a lone voice in the wilderness. Let me tell you what it sounds like. It's a little bit something like this. Idea. 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 And nobody listens. Can anybody hear me? No. I have an idea. I think it's good. Listen. Anyone? Are we sure we want to go out to eat after this? But let me tell you, uh, Ross persevered. He had this idea. He's he's a huge fan of Thaddeus Stevens. He is. And rightfully so, because Thaddeus Stevens is an interesting man. He doesn't get enough credit. True story. He, d- he isn't remembered as much as some other people like uh, Abraham Lincoln. Okay. That guy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, and by the way, Manhunt on uh, Disney Plus, don't even get me started. I don't know why you brought it up, Colby. Uh, Manhunt? What? It's <laughs> Yeah, they're going <laughs> to. Next week, we'll talk yeah. about it. We'll talk about it next week. It's we terrible. We should do a watch party. All right, and mock party. <laughs> watch and mock. Well, Matt and I have a, a very big watch party party. We do. Actually, when do you want to start doing that? Oh, whatever. We'll do it when we work out. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> Ross is an interesting guy. He He's really passionate about Thaddeus Stevens. He's got a Thaddeus Stevens museum that just opened he up. He's responsible for putting the Thaddeus Stevens uh, statue in front of the courthouse. And for the... New Year's Eve wig snatching. The wig snatching. (laughs) And um, he's often seen uh, marching in the Remembrance Day parade as Thaddeus Stevens. And, uh, you know, I got to admire the guy. You know, he he has his passion. He followed his passion and he's made it into something that will outlast him. And so that is pretty cool. We've had Ross on before to talk about that. Now he's coming on to talk about the museum. So he'll be on next week. And, um... That's who else we got coming up now. Now, yeah. Pete Carmichael, by the way, um, so he was supposed to be on a few weeks ago. We took off that night because he had um, – <laughs> so Pete's working on a book, 
He's uh-huh. finishing up a book and he's got deadlines that he's got to meet, right? And all winter he was like, he's like, ah, I, I gotta get to, I gotta get this book done. And, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's you know it's a lot, lot of work. You know, my my publisher is like really time. getting on me about this and whatever. And uh, yeah, so good. so anyway, so Cindy books him for the show, and then I don't know, a week before, yeah, within a week, yeah. She gets a notification. It declined. declined with no explanation. Yeah. And then so for like the last month or so, Cindy, or a month and a half. If it were you, you would be sitting there going, he hates me. <laughs> so at last so month I felt and a, a little bad. Yeah, I did. I would. And yeah, so every once slighted. in a while she would say, he have you heard from Pete Carmichael <laughs> yet? And I said, no. I said, he's finishing his book. He probably just declined it because he was like busy. And then he looks at his schedule and goes, oh, I can't do that. And he... Pff, yeah. And, he, and he ends it right, and and that's that simple. So he uh, f- finally the other day, I was like, I'm going to text this guy because maybe he maybe he is mad or something, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. And he, he doesn't get him. he doesn't get mad. <laughs> he doesn't get mad. But she got me paranoid. So I I texted him and said, Hey, Pete, just checking in. How's the book coming? Finished yet? And then he writes back. He's like, I miss hanging out with you and, and coming on your show. And I'm sorry. And blah, blah, blah. Big, long explanation about where he's been and, and, and you know, where he is in the book and what his next deadline is and everything like that. And um, I said, OK, good. I said, Cindy thought that you hated us um, uh, because you just declined with no explanation. And he goes, I hate you, but I love Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's all right. Thank he- you. Stood as erect as I am now. <laughs> All right, so, so we have the Brafferton in bed and breakfast coming up too, and uh, Reza is after oh, that. Oh, good buddy so, Reza. Yeah. Yes, we like Reza. We're filled up through uh, about the second week of May right now. Really? So, yeah. Wow. And I did just schedule you. Yeah, I saw. Um, and I, so I hope Jamie's. Okay I said too. yes. Yes, I saw. Jamie and has not yet, so make sure. One of those. Uh, Jamie. One of the who was it that just uh, joined the, the the day we're coming back from Harper's Ferry that we're putting in there? weren't we just talking about somebody? All right, don't worry about it. If it's if you got to look it up. Well, we have Cindy from Cindy's Country Store. She got booked, yes. and then um, I put in for uh, ladies. Cindy's story uh, from Cindy's Country Store is a great story. It is great, and, and it she's is she's a great person, and so is her husband. Uh, they're fantastic people. Yeah. Honestly, uh, I say ladies, but ladies, men. Anyway, it's an inspiring mm-hmm. story, and it's a story that makes you. Uh, it 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 both dashes your faith in humanity, and and then brings, <laughs> and it, brings it, back it back up and restores it. Roller it really is a nice story. Um, That's. That's good because we need more of that since all of our news things have been. Uh, absolutely. No, this is a great story. And I, I went into the shop the other day to say hi and check it out. And I said, you know, my first location when I had Getty's bike um, was here. This was this was the property that Getty's bike was on. She's like, really? And I go, yeah, that little shed in the back. That's where that's where we were. And so uh, it's 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 particularly nice that uh, they're starting their business down there. Um, at that same location. I know who you're talking about. Cindy, you brought her up. No. You're talking about the Gettysburg Academy 1810. That's yes. A, yes. So we're hoping to get them on. We are going to get them on. It's just a matter of getting of, them scheduled. Of finding the date. Yep. Now, we are we are going to, uh, in uh, sometime in April, we're going uh, just a couple of nights down at Harper's Ferry. We're staying at a and b there. The one on the hill where it mm-hmm. overlooks everything. The fancy one. The fancy one, yeah. And... Um, uh, and then, but we're coming back on Thursday. We're still going to do the show. So fresh on the heels of our relaxing trip to Harper's Ferry, where I'll probably have to take some time to write a little bit of the show. Uh, we will uh, tell you about our show or Merry our Christmas to me. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? It was my Christmas present. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Well, that's why I gave you two nights because one night oh. might be ruined with work. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm I'm taking off. Zabo Zabawa. That's right, Veronica. Zaba Zabawa. <laughs> you sexist bitch. Whoa, Ronnie. You bitches up for food. All right, so let's go eat now, and we're going to uh, have a lot of fun here. Oh, actually. All right, you bitches up for some food. <laughs> <laughs> That's like that is like such a night and day. You bitches up for food. All right, you bitches up for some food. <laughs> She's so, so serious. So proper. Dude. Are, Are you, you bitches, bitches up for up some for food? food? Listen, you bitches up for food. I All right, you bitches up for some food. I'm not as uh, 
nerdy as I see. Does his yeah. wife know about this? <laughs> you bitches up for food? All right, you bitches up for some food? As I recall it, and feed my boozoo. All right, we're going. You guys have yourselves a great week until we see you next time. And uh, thank you, everybody, for everything. Thank you to Babs for coming on. Thanks for yeah. Justine's Kitchen. And thank you, Colby and Debbie and Cindy. And bye, and everybody, and Bethany. And, everybody. Band performed by Colin Southfield and the Mushroom Country Band. Bumper music is arranged and performed by Billy Webster and sometimes Gavin McLeod. AG Today is produced by Matt Callery, Bethany Gingling, Debbie Jones yeah, yeah. and Cindy Compton. Engineered by Colby Sumner and maybe sometimes someone else. Guest accommodations are provided by the guests themselves. We'll need a couple thousand patrons to be able to put people up in hotels. Speaking of patrons, maybe you'd like to become one. You'll find plenty of perks <laughs> over there, not to mention hundreds of episodes that will help you further your Gettysburg and Civil War education. So go to patreon.com slash addressing Gettysburg. I'm Huevos Grande, the voice of Addressing Gettysburg. Thanks for listening. White and little. Well. I got hairy legs. For people that bad at Kevin Care. I just hate you and I hate your ass face. <laughs> this concludes our broadcast day. Oh my god. <laughs>